you love cookies. In this video, what's that smell? What? What? What is all that dirty dishes all over the table? Ugh, it smells horrible like a rotten egg in here. Yeah. I want you girls to pick up. You were supposed to do the dishes. Did you do the dishes or vacuum or do anything? No, we basically just sat here all day. Well, now the house smells terrible. Wake up. You two, wake up. Huh? What? What? What's going on? Is there a fire in the house? What? No. I set your alarm for 6 o'clock and I am, I am expecting you to get up. But Mom, ugh, it's way too early on the weekend to get out of bed. Are you crazy? Molly, get up or you're going to be grounded from talking to Brookie for a month. We keep pushing the girls the way we are. They're not going to like us anymore. They're going to run away. Uh -oh. Your future sounds terrible for these girls. Well, your future sounds like we won't even have daughters because they'll be, well, sick of us. I can just see their future now. It's not good either. Daisy, <laughs> I love this episode. Let's watch something else, Molly. We've watched like 70 episodes of this. Do not touch the remote. I'm gonna watch this episode again. Okay, girls, try to get along. You, you, you're fighting over the TV, and if you fight over the TV, well then, you're not allowed to watch it, I guess. Yeah, okay, Dad, whatever you say. Molly, do you smell something? Yeah, I smell something delicious. I'm starving right now. Molly, all you've done is eaten all day. I know, and I can still eat some more. Guys, I'm home. What's that smell? What? What? What is all that dirty dishes all over the table? Ugh, it smells horrible like a rotten egg in here. Yeah. Molly, did you eat a bean burrito? No, I didn't eat a bean burrito. Well, I think it's the smell of all those dirty dishes. I want you girls to pick up. You were supposed to do the dishes. Did you do the dishes or vacuum or do anything? No, we basically just sat here all day. Well, now the house smells terrible. Well, we'll get to it as soon as we finish this episode. Uh-oh. Oh. Dan, did you just let them sit here all afternoon while I was at work? Um, I'm sorry, honey, but I'm looking at our bank account right now to see why we don't have any more money. Maybe because you spent it all on Robux. I know, but I have to get good at Roblox. Everybody always beats me at it, and then I'm tired of playing Roblox on Saturday nights as a family and always losing, and you guys always winning. And I, I, I need special powers, so I have more. I have to buy more Ro, Roblox. Robux, not Roblox. Ugh, you're never gonna be good at it anyway, and 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 you're spending up all our money. Hey, hey, why the doubt here? I think I could be good at the game. Okay, here we go. Mom and Dad are gonna fight. Let's just go up and play uh, Roblox in our room. Good idea, Molly. Let's go. Where do you two think you're going? You have a lot to clean up. Huh? What? Sorry, Mom. The elevator's already at the um, second floor. I can't hear you. Oh. Mom and Dad can be so annoying sometimes. I mean, I love them and everything, but, like, literally, why do they tell us to do chores all the time? I know, right, Molly? Chores, schmores. Oh, did you just say s'mores? No, I said s'mores. Yeah, you said s'more! Oh, that's making me hungry again. <laughs> Daisy, you better not snore in your sleep tonight. Really? You better not fart in your sleep tonight. Hey, I have no promises. Uh-huh, well, I might snore. There you are, girls. Are you ready for bed? Yep, we're all in our PJs and our teeth are brushed. Girls, tomorrow you're going to have a very specific morning routine. I've written it all out and I expect you to follow it <gasps> line by line. What? Morning routine? <laughs> Mom, you must be sadly mistaken. Tomorrow's the weekend. Uh-huh. And tomorrow, you're going to follow my morning routine. Ow. Ugh. That sounds like a lot of work. Sure does. Now, first things first. Get a good night's sleep. You're going to have a very, very busy day. Good night, girls. Good night, Mom. Will you fix on this morning routine? Probably a bunch of chores and other things we don't want to do. Bah and humbug. Yeah, Molly. I think we can just watch TV and eat snacks again all day. Um, after I study, of course. 
Oh, Daisy, you're such a goody two-shoes. I know, but not really, because I haven't been doing my chores. See, I'm a rebel. Yeah, you're a real baddie. <laughs> Daisy, why did you set the alarm for 6 o'clock in the morning on the weekend? I didn't. I don't know why it's going off. Wait a minute. Mom must have said. Turn it off. I'm going back to sleep. Oh. Ridiculous. Six o'clock in the morning? I don't even get up that early for school. Wake up! You two, wake up! Huh? What? What? What's going on? Is there a fire in the house? What? No. I set your alarm for six o'clock, and I am I'm expecting you to get up. Mom... Ugh, it's way too early on the weekend to get out of bed. Are you crazy? Molly, get up or you're going to be grounded from talking to Brookie for a month. What? Like, what the moly, Mom? That's harsh. Things are about to change around here. What? Why? We like things the way they are. Girls, I literally found an old hot dog bun under the couch. It was moldy. Ew, why'd you leave that there? I didn't! You two did! You are both turning into total slobs. Lazy, lazy, and lazy. Well, oh, I might be kind of lazy, but Daisy, she's still doing her homework, so she's only a little bit lazy. Yeah, I'm only a little bit lazy. You're both really lazy, and you're both going to snap out of it. Molly, open your eyes. I would, but they just don't seem to want to open. Molly, open them. Cheapers, Mom, they're open. You're turning into a, a, a strict mom. That's right. From here on out, you can refer to me as strict mom, ma'am. Strict mom, ma'am. Oh. Well, are you ready to do your chores? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. Here's the list. First, I need you to go in and brush your teeth for approximately two minutes. Wow. Then you will go down and eat a healthy breakfast. Then you will vacuum. And the list goes on and on. I have to work. So I expect this list to be completed by the time I arrive home. Uh, okay, Mom. I mean, ma'am. Strict Mom, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. We'll do the chores we promise. Good. I'd hate to have to ground you both for a month. A month? Wow, that's really strict and harsh. Do your chores, do everything on the list, and you'll have nothing to worry about. Daisy, can you believe this? What's gotten into Mom? I don't know, but I think the rotten hot dog bun under the couch really did us in. Ugh, you think it's still there? I'm kinda hungry. Yeah. Ew, Molly. <laughs> I can't believe mom wants us to eat something healthy for breakfast. I always have some sort of delicious sugary cereal for breakfast. Well, I'm having a delicious healthy smoothie. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see what's in the refrigerator. What? The refrigerator won't open. Yeah, mom locked it so you couldn't get anything naughty out of there. I guess your choice is a banana or apple. Oh, this is so annoying. Mom needs to stop being strict and mean. I guess this banana is not horrible. But I miss my cereal. Molly, quit whining. We have a long list to do. Or we're going to be grounded from our best friends. Uh-oh. Okay, what's next on the list? Vacuuming and dusting. I'll dust you vacuum. Why do I have to vacuum? Because, Molly, someone has to dust and it's going to be me. Since you're always allergic, you sneeze so much when you smell any kind of dust. <laughs> yeah, she has a point. All right, fine. I'll do the vacuuming. <sighs> this stinks! I hate having to do the chores on the weekends. What's that racket so early in the morning? Lily, what are you doing? Why are you doing chores? What's gotten into you? Did an alien abduct my daughter? No, 
Mom has this giant chore list we have to do. Sorry, Dad, but I have to turn on the light. But I was trying to sleep in. It's still super early. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. I know, Dad. Tell me about it. Mom has is doing all these chores. Next, I have to scrub the toilets. Yeah. What? That sounds ridiculous. She's just being a little too strict, I think. Put that vacuum away. You can go watch cartoons. Seriously? Yeah, Molly. It's the weekend, and you go to school all week. And, uh, you know, everybody needs some downtime. Thanks, Dad! You're the best! You're the most funnest dad ever! Wow! Unlike Mom, who's strict and mean. Tell your sister she can watch cartoons, too! Daisy, you don't have to dust anymore! Wait, what? Why? Because Dad said we don't have to. But Mom said we did! Uh-oh! Well, Mom's not here right now. Dad is. So he's the boss. And we get to watch cartoons. Whoa, Marty, that's amazing! So glad we didn't have to do all that cleaning. Where are the cartoons? Ugh, oh, there's no cartoons on right now. Let's watch Rags to Riches. Sounds good, Molly. Ah, oh, that's much better. A few hours later. Ah, oh, I'm so full from all that DoorDash. I know, right, Molly? Oh, that was delicious, though. What is going on here? Look at all this fast food food all over and it smells again and 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 there's just there's, there's, there's stuff everywhere it's dusty and there was no vacuuming done girls what about the morning routine i gave you um well uh we didn't do it because uh molly you're not even out of your pajamas yet uh-huh because uh in my mind it's still morning what no it's not why didn't you do the list i gave you you girls are so Lazy! Dad said we didn't have to. He did? I don't believe you. No, you can go ask him yourself. <laughs> if he's even out of bed yet. He was just chilling. Oh, I guess I better get out of bed and get some lunch. Oh, well, well, well. Look who decided to wake up today. Oh, what? Uh, it's my weekend. I just wanted to sleep in a little. I didn't sleep very good last night. Maybe Kira kept me awake half the night. Well, now she's at my mom's house for the night, so why didn't you get out of bed? The girls didn't even do their morning routine I left for them. Well, it just seemed kind of crazy, all that stuff you put on there. Scrub the toilets and vacuum at 7 o'clock in the morning? Those girls need to learn responsibility. They are being so immature. Of course they are. They're not grown-ups yet. You don't start teaching them responsibility. They are going to be terrible, spoiled rats whoa 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 you are so strict what what happened to you you used to be so fun you keep pushing the girls the way we are they're not gonna like us anymore they're gonna run away uh -oh. your future sounds terrible for these girls well your future sounds like we won't even have daughters because they'll be well sick of us i can just see their future now <sighs> It's not good either. Molly, what are you doing? Were you supposed to be at work like an hour ago? Yeah, but work means I have to get off the couch, which I don't want to do. Molly, you're not even laying on the couch. Yeah, I sort of fell off the couch like an hour ago, and I didn't even feel like getting back on the couch. Wow, Molly, that's a new level of lazy, even for you. Did you even go to bed last night? This is the clothes you wore yesterday. Yeah. Nah, I wanted to be the closest to the pizza. It's right over there. I can smell it from here. Molly, that pizza's from last week. Yeah, and it's still good. Except my stomach feels a little weird after eating it. <laughs> Just kidding, all better. Ew, Molly. <laughs> Molly, we need to make money. We're not going to be able to afford the rent on this place. <laughs> they charge us rent here? That's lame. This place is terrible. Yeah, and it's all we get afford because two of us are too lazy to do anything. Well, I hope you can figure that out because uh, all I want to do is sit here and eat lots of food. Well, you just put a plate on the back of the couch. I know. <laughs> now I'm putting one behind my head. Let's see if I can eat it like this. Oh, Molly. You should really go to your job. Nah, probably gonna be fired now. I'm an hour late. Ow! Well, good thing I thought of something to make money. 
Give me all your money in this bag, it's a sticker. What? Oh, I've never been robbed before. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was a bad job. I knew it, I knew it. Quit panicking and give me all the money. I need to pay my rent and buy my sister some more pizza that doesn't have mold on the top of it. What? Um, well, we don't we don't have access to the safe and what? I went through all this trouble and you can't even give me any money? Um, no, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Hey, don't push that button. What are you doing? Did you just push the alarm? Um, well, um, bye. I can't believe I just got robbed. Well, almost. The police are going to be here and then she's going to get arrested. Hold it right there, thief. What? This is my first time robbing a bank and I'm already getting arrested? That's right. <laughs> You thought you'd be good at robbing banks, but the police are always smarter than the criminal. Actually, I'm one of the smartest brains in Brookhaven. I'm just really lazy about it. <coughs> Seriously, TZ? <coughs> you, you, you couldn't even rob a bank? Well, no, Molly. I was kind of terrible at it. I haven't practiced or anything. Uh-oh! Well, now who's going to pay the rent at our house? Or buy us new pizza? You'll have to go get a job, Molly. Me? A job? Nah, <laughs> I don't think so. I'm too lazy for that. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Molly. I get, uh, well, three hot meals in here. And I get a nice warm, cozy bed. I guess this is the perfect place to be lazy. What? That's not fair! What am I gonna do? Someone please help! I don't have my home, and I don't even have any pizza to eat! Oh, no money. Trouble I've seen. <laughs> and that's exactly what happens when you're just fun all the time and you're never strict. Oh, really? Well, I can see exactly what would happen if we were super strict parents all the time. It was so hot outside. I need something to drink. I wonder if we have any of that apple juice left. Too hot. Too hot! Oh, there you are. You missed some of the dust on the dining room table. Sorry, Mom. Uh, I'll get it. I just went out and mowed the lawn. I need some apple juice. Apple juice? Uh -oh. No, 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 no. That's for babies. You can have some water. Better for your body. But Mom! I'm so hot. I just want some apple juice, please. It took me like two hours to mow the yard. <gasps> Let's go see if you actually mowed it correctly. Uh, there's a wrong way to mow it? Of course there is. Let me go get my tape measure. Your tape measure? Some of this grass is way too long. <laughs> well, I just ran the lawnmower over it. I, I didn't know that I could choose like how long the grass is. Yes, you can. Ugh. If you don't start getting things right, Molly, you're going to fail, and then you're never, ever going to amount to anything in life except for becoming a loser. <gasps> wow, Mom. Harsh. Well, it's true. I'm just trying to prepare you for the real world. Now go in and dust the dining room table, and then get the lawnmower out and get mowing again. But, Mom, it's getting dark. I won't even see where I'm going. You need to get this done, Molly. Oh, fine. And the right way this time. What? Did you put a red sock in with the white load? <gasps> um, whoopsie, Mom. It was just a mistake. Ow. Now we're going to have to pay for all of those clothes because you turned them pink. Well, I didn't mean to put the red sock in there. I promise. Well, I guess you're spending your allowance money from your piggy bank on this. Uh oh But, Mom... I've been saving up for my supplies for the science fair. Well, so sad for you then that you won't have what you need because you have to buy everybody new underwear because they're pink. Um, oopsie, sorry. Ugh, you really should pay more close attention, Daisy. Psst, Daisy. Daisy. Molly, what is it? I'm trying to fold laundry. Daisy, listen to me. We gotta run away from here. Our mom has gone psycho. 
She's the weird, strict mom. Ah! I think you might be right, Molly. I can't handle this anymore. It's, it's like she's just mean all the time. Exactly. Come on. Yeah, I think the coast is clear. Let's go. I'm never coming back here. Not ever. Be evil, Molly. Be evil. Come on, Daisy. I'm trying, Molly, but I'm so hungry because all I've eaten is like, um, well, I had a salad because Mom didn't want me to eat anything else. She said that the other stuff was not as healthy. Now I'm starving, so I'm not running very fast. Well, come on. We don't want her to catch us. Let's go. <coughs> Molly, Daisy, where are you? Your chore list is not even remotely done yet. Oh, where are these girls? I can't even believe them. They just... Hiding when they need to do their chores? Oh, they're so lazy. Yeah, and your way would work so well. The girls would run away. They wouldn't even want us to be their parents anymore. <gasps> wow, I didn't look at it like that. I mean, I want them to be responsible. Well, I'm not sure my way is good to raise them either. I mean, if I just let them have fun all the time and they don't have any responsibilities, what's going to happen to them when they get older? Yeah, and if I'm too strict and mean, then how will they turn out when they get older? It seems like no matter what we do, we're going to mess up our kids. I know. It sort of does. I know what we'll do. We'll compromise. We'll have some strictness and some fun. That way they'll grow up totally, totally normal. Yeah, except for there are kids, so they won't really be that normal. <laughs> yeah, true. Come on, let's go find them and tell them what we decided. Mom, we'll do our chores, we promise. We just need to sit down for a minute. We're thirsty and hungry and you locked the refrigerator. Yeah, Mom, can we please get a snack? Of course you can, girls. Your dad and I have been talking and we've decided that, well, we need to compromise. <gasps> yeah, so a little bit of fun and a little bit of responsibility. Oh, I was hoping you would say just a lot of fun and zero responsibility. No, trust me. You don't want to have no responsibility. It makes you grow up to be total, well, losers. Oh, um, yeah. I'm not going to be a loser, not ever. That's because you need to have some responsibility. So your mom and I have agreed that you will each do one chore a day. One? That's so many. Ah! Actually, Molly, it's just one. So you can choose the chore that you want to do. And once it's done, you can do fun things for the whole rest of the day. Wow. And you still have to do your homework and stuff too. That sounds pretty fail. I can live with that. I can't. I just want to be lazy. I don't want to do any chores. Molly, I didn't say there was an option. If you don't do your chores, you can't hang out with your friends, Ow. Snapchat, or do anything else fun. What? Dad, when did you become so strict? Um, trust me, uh, things could be a lot worse. Uh, you could have to follow all your mom's rules. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, one chore, right? That's right, girls. And then you can do whatever you want as long as your homework's done. Goodbye, Molly. Just agree to it. Uh, okay, well, it sure beats having mom, who's completely strict about everything in control of us. That's right. Um, both of us make the decisions here, so we've decided one chore and then all the fun you want to have. Well, I guess it's not so awful, but can we just chill out right now, please? Uh, I guess, but then you need to do your one chore in an hour. Sure, Mom, sure we will. We definitely will. Yeah, as soon as I watch about 500 episodes at Netflix. Girls, I told you, you have to follow what your mom says. I will, I will. What do I have to do first? Vacuum? Sounds good to me, Molly. I'm gonna vacuum as fast as I can so I can go back to watching TV. <laughs> oh, Molly, just do a good job. Yeah, and then I can have a chocolate bar, right? Oh, uh, we didn't say that. Well, I think we should put that into the contract. I want a chocolate bar for all my hard work. Okay, Molly, you can have a chocolate bar.
I thought that unicorn was so annoying. You're wearing a shirt with a unicorn on it, Sarah. Okay, yeah, because my other clothes were dirty and and we're supposed to show school spirit for cheerleaders. That unicorn was way too cheery. Why don't they get something that's like a little less annoying? I'm so sad. I love the shiny unicorn more than anything. Ow. Well, Marty, the principal said there's going to be a new mascot. Maybe you'll love that one just as much. Okay, okay, class. Let's pay attention to what's going on in math class, not who the new school mascot will be. Yeah, but teacher, this is really important. Of course it is, but not as important as your math. Now, everybody, I want you to take out your workbook, um, page 34, please. And Molly, I want you to answer question number one, please. Ow. <laughs> totally think our mascot should be something really girly and pretty and cute, don't you, Sarah? Oh, Tiffany, you're being so annoying. Why are you so cheery today? I don't know. It just seems like a cheery day. I mean, we're getting a new mascot. This is our opportunity to make everything pink and amazing this school. Oh, I'm just so tired of being at school. I just want to be home, like, Snapchatting or shopping. Yeah, that does sound fun, but you are going to vote for pink, right? We don't even know what the mascot's going to be yet, Tiffany. Can you just be quiet? You're really annoying. Fine. You are so rude today, Sarah. Ugh, whatever. I'm going to go get a snack. Hmm, what do they have? Ooh, Diet Coke, my favorite. Who do you guys think our new mascot should be? I don't know, but I definitely think the mascot should be blue. Yeah, me too. I love the color blue. No, pink! What, do you want to go be with the mean girls? The baddies? Because they're the ones that are picking pink. Well, I think pink is a great color. Like I said, you could be on Sarah's side then. May I have your attention, please? Oh, it's an announcement! Maybe we're going home early. <coughs> Marty, it's not the winter. It's not like we're going to get a half day because it's snowing. We are about to see two possible mascots. Everybody, please join us in the auditorium. Yes! Let's go see what our new mascots are. This is going to be amazing. Here are our two possible mascots for Brookhaven High. We have the Doge. Oh, I love that one. It's all blue. The Bunny Rabbit. <laughs> Look at that bunny rabbit. Isn't it so cute? Cute? That little bunny rabbit is terrifying. It looks like a pink nightmare. Something that's going to come terrorize me in my dreams. Yeah, that thing has a little Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm totally voting for the Blue Doge. Yeah, don't you think it would be cool? Home of the Doge. I love it. I want the whole school, school to be blue. Ugh. Oh. This is so lame. I could be Snapchatting right now. Oh, MG, are you serious? I think that pink bunny rabbit is so cute. I hope our whole school is pink, pink, and also pink. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess if I had to choose, I would choose the pink bunny rabbit. I can't believe I'm saying rabbit instead of rabbit. Yeah, but it's going to be our school mascot. I'm so excited. All right, everyone. I want a show of hands. Who wants the blue doge? Okay, 25 students want the blue doge. And 
let's see who wants the pink bunny rabbit. 25 students? It's a tie? Hmm, how will we have a tiebreaker? What? No, 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 no. We're not going to fight to see who the mascot's going to be. No. Okay, stop that right now. Doge, we are going to have a pink versus blue fashion show. Whoever wins the best fashion in the show gets to have their color mascot for the school. Since we need to have a tiebreaker, I want everyone to come to school tomorrow in their favorite color, pink or blue. Whatever team has the most school spirit wins. And that will be our new school mascot. And Rookie, you want to come over to my house and plan our outfit for tomorrow? I sure do, Molly. We need to have the most school spirit in the color blue. That way, we can win. Because we don't want that creepy pink bunny wabbit to be our mascot, do we? Absolutely not! Molly, come on! I've got a lot of homework to do. And I have to figure out what I'm wearing for spirit day tomorrow. Sorry, Daisy, but I can't get in the car unless you change the color to blue. What? You know I drive a pink car, Molly. Get in! No, I cannot be around the color pink. I choose blue. Molly, you're being ridiculous. You know that I own this car for like three years now. Well, I'm sorry, Daisy, but I'm not getting in the car with you. Well, fine then, walk! Wait, what? No, I don't want to walk, Daisy! But I'm not changing the colors. See you later, Stinker. Ow! Stinker, huh? Well, we'll see about that. Your bunny rabbit's the real stinker. Just because I fart a lot doesn't mean you should call me a stinker. Ah, it's the creepy bunny rabbit. Get away from me. Ah! Wait, come back. We could be friends. Not a chance, creepy bunny rabbit. Thanks for leaving me at the school, Daisy. But Molly, I'm sorry, but you didn't want to get in my car. And so basically, what was I supposed to do? Change the color. This is Brookhaven. You can change the color. I'm not changing the color of my car for you. Now, if you excuse me, Sarah's coming over soon. Say what? Sarah's not going to come to our house. She's a total bully. Uh, correction. She loves the bunny rabbit and so do I. We both love the color pink. Daisy, Sarah doesn't love anything. She's a grumpy bully. Well, she doesn't want Blue to win. And neither do I. So she and Tiffany are coming over. Ugh. This day just got so much worse. I can't wait till Brookie shows up. Did somebody just say my name? Brookie! Come on in. Molly, you look so sad. What's going on? My sister is inviting over Sarah and Tiffany. Say what? Why? Because she wants to win, and they're all fashionistas. They're baddies. You know that they're going to win. What? No, our outfits are going to be amazing. Come on, let's go brainstorm what we can do. Yeah. We can't let that creepy bunny take over our school. Game face, Brookie. Let's do this. How's this? Molly, seriously? No, no, try again. How about this? Whoa, Molly, you look like a smurf. No, definitely not. We want to win this competition. Brookie, it's no use. Look at us. Y you look like a, a blueberry. And I look like a smurf. Oh, we're not fashionistas. We're not going to win the competition. Molly, did you forget? Forget what? Huh, how to be fashionable? Yeah, I totally did. Never give up and never surrender. Because you can do anything. If you put your mind to it, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can do it. Okay, I'll try again. Great job, Molly. I know you can do this. I have faith in you. Thanks, Brookie. You really are the bestest friend in the whole world. Aww. Whoa! Molly, you look amazing! You even have an adorable dog on the front of your shirt! You're the perfect, perfect, like, combination of blue! And the bow in your hair, and the hearts, and, and you're gonna win the school spirit! I just know it! Blue is gonna win because of you! Really? You think so? I know so. My outfit's really cheesy. <laughs> I painted my skin blue. And now, um, I don't think it's gonna wash off. It's okay, Brookie. You definitely have school spirit. We're gonna win tomorrow, Brookie. I know we are. 
I hope so, Molly, because I do not want that creepy pink bunny rabbit to be our school <gasps> mascot. Don't worry. With outfits like these, we don't have anything to worry about. We have so much school spirit, it's just beaming out of us. I seriously cannot believe I'm allowing you to dress me up like this. Oh, Sarah, turn that frown upside down. You're the cutest pink bunny rabbit there ever was. <laughs> She's right. You look so adorable. Well, except for that miserable, super frowny face of yours. Come on, you're a cute bunny rabbit. We're totally going to lose. I look ridiculous. Oh, do you girls actually want to win? Of course we do, fair and square. Uh-huh. Daisy, could you go get me some soda? I'm so thirsty. Sure, no problem. Tiffany, come here. Uh, yeah, what is it, Sarah? You're my crony, so you have to do what I say. You're a minion, and that's all you will ever be. What? Rude! But you know it's true. I am queen of the baddies. Now go upstairs and steal Molly and Brookie's spirit outfit for tomorrow. <laughs> what? That's cheating. Uh-huh. And we definitely want the pink to win, right? Um, yeah. Then do as I say, Tiffany. Okay, Sarah. If you say so, if it's the only way to win. <gasps> I'll see you tomorrow, Brookie. Show up bright and early so that we can put on our outfits before school. Okay, Molly, see you then. We're totally going to win. Ah, I think I need to go downstairs and have a delicious donut. I can't wait for tomorrow. Totally going to win this competition. Wow. They're such ignoramuses. They didn't even see me hiding in the hallway. <laughs> now I'll steal their school spirit outfits and they'll lose. And Pink will win forever. <laughs> now where did they put them? And the color pink is going to win. Oh, uh, be quiet. It's still too early. Yeah, sleep, Molly, sleep while our team pink wins. Oh, what? No, I'm up. I'm up. Time to put on my amazing mascot outfit that shows how much school spirit I really have. Uh, as soon as I can open my eyes. One minute, 37 seconds later. Here are our outfits. <gasps> they were right here in, in this drawer. Daisy. Did you take my school spirit outfit? What? Why would I do that? Of course not. Because you said you were going to win. And that's the only way you would win. Because my outfit and Brookie's outfit... Well, Brookie's outfit was a little weird. But mine is amazing. I worked really hard on it. Where is it, Daisy? Why are you accusing me? That's so rude. You took it. No, I didn't. Stop saying that. Well, somebody did because it's missing. Maybe you just misplaced it. I've got to get to school because Pink's about to win. Blue's going to win. You just, you just wait and see. Oh, gosh. Where's my sc school spirit outfit? Oh, no. I think Daisy might have stolen it. Uh -oh. Good morning, Molly. Whoa, did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Come on, let's put our outfits on and win this thing. We don't have outfits. <gasps> what? Yes, we do. We worked for hours last night putting our outfits together all in blue so that our blue doge would win as new school mascot. No, they're missing. Wait, wha what? Maybe you just accidentally put them under their bed or something. Maybe your dog ran off with them. We could, we could see if Gracie's in the backyard. Here, girl. Here, girl. No, you don't understand. They've been stolen. Do you know what this means? If we don't have a school spirit outfit, then, then, then the pink team will win. And that creepy bunny rabbit's going to be our school mascot forever. Well, maybe not forever. I mean, maybe that rabbit will quit eventually, like, like Shiny Unicorn did. I doubt it. That rabbit just seems creepy enough to hang around forever and ever. Yeah, you're right. What are we going to do? It's hopeless. <laughs> Are you seriously crying? Stop that. Get up. I can't. 
I've given up all hope. Molly, get up. What about never give up and never surrender? Huh? I can't do anything. <gasps> Molly, snap out of it. Put on your game face. We have to come up with new school spirit outfits. And quick. Yeah. Whoever stole our outfit thinks they're going to win. But they're not. We're going to show them just how much school spirit we really have. Um, Molly, I went digging through your Halloween costume bin and I found this giant fish. It's blue, so it sort of works, right? Uh -oh. Whoa! Molly, your second outfit's even better than the first. You look amazing. Um, I'm afraid I'm not going to be much help, though. I mean, <laughs> I'm a giant fish. No one's going to pick me. All of the hope of blue rests on your shoulders, Molly. You have to win school spirit. Or we're doomed to that creepy pink bunny wabbit forever. Ah! Don't worry, Brookie. I've got this. What? What's this? It wow. looks like pink's already arrived. OMG, Daisy! What? Pink for life! Full for us! <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. They got a pink stretch limo. Yeah, because we're cool and you drool. <laughs> losers. Yeah, <sighs> losers. Molly, don't let this get you down. You still look amazing. You can win school spirit, I promise. I sure hope so. Pink for life, pink for life. Oh, Tiffany has stage fright. She doesn't want to come out here. Well, it's okay because we look adorable. Put down your sign. No one can see your face. And you want them to see just how much you love pink, right? You're telling me that? Look at your face. You're the grumpy. Oh, I just look this way all the time. I'm a baddie. Duh. Vote for pink because we're popular so we know what's cool. The end. Wow. We got a lot of applause. I think that we're going to win. Pink for life. Pink for life. Blue is amazing, and I'm about to tell you why. Blue is the color of the ocean. Calm and amazing and and full of, of amazing secrets we haven't even discovered yet. That's why Brookie dressed as a fish, to show you how vast and deep and amazing the color blue really is. Besides that, blue starts with B, Brookhaven starts with B. It's like it was meant to be. Uh, Rookie, are you seriously a dancing fish right now? Well, it was better than flopping around on the on the floor. I mean, right? Yeah, I guess so. You should pick blue because blue is just amazing. I'm not telling you this as the popular girl. I'm telling you this as somebody who really, really loves blue. I, I think that it should be our school color. And, and I think the doge really fits Brookhaven. Way more than that creepy bunny webbit. I couldn't agree more. Blue for life. <laughs> Brookie, did you hear that? I did, Mommy. It sounds like the applause is even louder for the color blue. I think the doge is going to win. Yes! The school has spoken, and the doge wins. Congratulations! Everyone will now wear blue here on out. Yay! Yay! I win! I get to be the school mascot! What? I wanted to be the school mascot! Why can't I be the school mascot? Everybody thinks I'm creepy! <laughs> Sorry, but you don't get to! <laughs> well, I hope there's a lot of basketballs that fall on your head! <laughs> Okay, Bunny Wabbit, let's not be a sore loser. Congratulations, Doge. You are Brookhaven High's new mascot. Yes! We won, Molly! We did it! Okay, class, for the most part, everyone's grades on this test were really, really good. Well, except for a certain somebody. Molly, uh, will you stay after class, please? Uh-oh! Me? Why me? I don't need to stay after class. 
I think we all know why you need to stay after class, Molly. Daisy, be quiet. You're such a goody two-shoes. No one cares what you have to say. Ow. Okay, Molly, that's enough. Unless, of course, you'd like to go to the principal. Uh oh No, no, I don't need to go to the principal. Staying after class is bad enough. Mrs. Smith, you wanted to see me after class? Yes, Molly, I did want to see you after class. Your test score is, again, terrible. <gasps> All of your test scores have been atrocious this year. If I don't start seeing an improvement in your grades, I'm afraid I'm going to have to fail you for the year. <laughs> Say what? Fail me for the year? I, 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 I wouldn't be with my best friend Brookie in class anymore. I, I would be a year behind. No, no. This can't be happening. Molly, I'll give you one more opportunity to get a good test score, or I'm afraid it's inevitable. You are going to have to repeat this grade again. Hey there, Molly. It's pizza day, your favorite. I'm not really very hungry. What? You never stop being hungry. Do you have the stomach bug? No, just not hungry. <laughs> <gasps> What's wrong? Oh my god, are you okay? No. I just got this test score and it's another failing grade. <laughs> Mrs. Smith said if I get one more bad test score, I'm gonna fail for the year. Holy guacamole! You gonna fail for the entire year? That's not good, Molly. All those times I told you to do your homework. Daisy! Stop lecturing me right now. Can't you see? I'm super sad. I have to agree with Molly right now, Daisy. I don't know if lecturing her is going to be the best thing. She is really upset. Well, Molly, there's only one thing to do. What? Run away? <coughs> no, Molly, not run away. You can't run away from your problems. You have to face them. And since I'm your sister and I'm the smartest girl in the school, I'll tutor you. Wow. What? I don't think so. Molly, come on. You know that I can help you. Molly, I think you should take your sister up on this offer. She definitely can help you. Uh. Okay, Molly, just log into the account for school. Molly, why are you on Roblox? Because it's going to be so much more fun. I give up. Ooh. Molly, you can't give up. You're going to fail for the year. Seriously, log in. All right, fine. You're the worst student ever. Uh -oh. Hey, thanks for the pep talk. Maybe you're the worst sister ever. Molly, do you want my help or not? Yes, I want your help. I guess. Okay, now let's look at this first math problem. Is the answer A, B, or C? Um, uh, uh. Molly, why are you making that weird face? Did Ooh. you eat a big burrito today? No, my brain is just working extra, extra, extra hard. <laughs> I got it, it's B. What? No, that's Ignoramus Ansel. That's not it at all, it's A. Oh, what? No, it's not, it's B. My brain worked really hard to calculate that. Yeah, and it calculated it wrong. No wonder you keep failing. Hey, if you're going to be rude, then... Then I don't have to have you help me. Uh-oh. Molly, just sit down and do what I tell you to. I don't think so, Daisy. I think I'd rather be in a different universe than you. What? I'm just trying to help you. By calling me Ignoramos? That's just rude. Go away, Daisy. <coughs> Molly, you're going to fail. Get back here. You're not in charge of me, Daisy. You're not my boss. Oh, my sister is so annoying. I don't know what I'm going to do. But she can't be my tutor. I need to find a bigger brain than Daisy. One that's not so mean either. Who has a bigger brain than Daisy? Ha <laughs> ha! I know! Abigail! She's the biggest nerd in our school. All I have to do is become best friends with her and all my troubles will be over. Hey, Molly! Hey, Brookie, I don't have time right now. When has she not had time for me? I'm her BFF. Uh, maybe she just had to run to the bathroom or something. Yeah. There's Abigail. Who would have guessed? She's in the study area, making your brain even bigger than it already is. Hey, Abigail. Um, hi. 
Uh, your best friend isn't here right now. Huh, what? No, I'm here to talk to you. What? You've never talked to me before in your life. I know, but I want to talk to you right now. You seem so cool. You want to be my best friend? What? No? Can't you see I'm doing something? I'm figuring out some math calculations. What? We didn't have math homework. I know. I just do this for fun. <laughs> You're kidding, right? No? How do you think my brain is the biggest in the school? <gasps> Don't let my sister Daisy hear you that. She'd be super jealous if she knew you were the one that had the biggest brain. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. Really? You think I have the biggest brain in the whole school? Yeah! You're amazing! <laughs> uh, you want to sit by me at lunch today? Um, yeah. Okay, sure. Perfect. See you then, Abigail! Abigail! Over here! Over here! Uh-huh, I see you, Molly. I saved you a seat! Oh, thanks so much. Want some pizza? No, I can't have any pizza. It has pepperoni on it. I'm allergic to pepperoni. Whoa, that really stinks. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to have a banana. Molly, hey, I didn't get to see you this morning. Uh, Brookie, sorry, that seat's taken. What? I always sit by you at lunch. Yeah, but not today. Abigail is sitting there. Molly, you always saved me a seat. You didn't save me a seat? No, sorry. But, but, you're gonna have to get up. Hurry, Abigail's coming back. Okay, fine. Abigail, there, your seat's, your seat's empty. Okay, there you go. So why did you want to sit by me at lunch, Molly? Hey, Bookie, what's, what's going on? Whoa, you look really sad. Are you okay? No, not really. There's something really weird going on with your sister. Tell me about it. She's a real ignoramus. She didn't even want me to, to tutor her. She just wants to fail for the year, I guess. Wait, what? She didn't have you tutor her? And she doesn't want me as her best friend anymore. Wait, what? That doesn't sound right, Bookie. You guys have been friends forever. Yeah, well, she didn't want to talk to me this morning. She was too busy. And she didn't save me a seat at lunch either. What has gotten into her? The reason why I wanted to sit by you at lunch is because I think you're so cool. And I think we should be good friends because we have a lot in common. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You and I have nothing in common. You never do your homework. You fail all your tests. You'd rather goof off than do anything school related. Ow. You don't even like reading about math or science or anything. We're complete and total opposites. Of <laughs> something in common. Yeah, right. So basically, why do you want to hang out with me, Molly? She has a point. Think fast, Molly. Think fast. <laughs> Got it. Um, I know that you have a rivalry with my sister, Daisy. But who's got the biggest brain? And I'm going to help you prove that it's you once and for all. <gasps> okay, I'm listening. Well, you see, the teacher told me that if I fail one more test, <laughs> I'm going to fail for the year. I'm the biggest dunce in this entire school. Ooh. And my sister tried to tutor me, and she failed. Uh -oh. But you have the biggest brain ever. If you can help the class loser actually get a good grade, It'll be proof that you have the biggest brain, Abigail. Wow, I like the sound of that. I'll meet you at your house right after school. Perfect. Hey, Molly. Oh, hey, Bricky. I've just got to get my backpack and head home. Can we talk for a minute, Molly? Could we talk tomorrow or something? Uh-oh. Um, I would really like to talk to you right now. Sorry, but I'm meeting my friend Abigail after school today, like right at 3.30 sharp. I I've got to go. But Molly, sorry, we can talk tomorrow or next week or something. Ah! I can't believe it. I lost my best friend. And to who? That Abigail girl? They don't even have anything in common. <laughs> Hello, Abigail. Hello, Daisy. Are you here to see my sister, Abigail? Uh, yeah. Is she home? We were supposed to meet here at 3.30 sharp. Good luck. She never's on time for anything. I'm here. I'm here. I I'm on time. I swear it. Wow. Oh, hey, Molly. There you are. <laughs> well, come on. Let's get started on your homework. 
I'm going to tutor you so good that everyone's gonna know I'm the biggest brain there ever was. Okay, anything you say, Abigail. Just help me pass this test. Okay, so the first is a word problem. If Micah has four bean burritos, and Terry has three bean burritos, and Sarah has four bean burritos, um, and you take away two bean burritos from Terry, how many bean burritos does everyone have left? Um, farts. What? What are you talking about? Uh, it doesn't really matter how many bean burritos are actually left. The only thing you have to be afraid of is all the farts. <laughs> Bully, take this seriously. I am. Bean burritos give lots of gas. The question should be, how many farts will be in the room? Bully! Seriously, take this to the extreme seriousness. Okay, okay. Well, I thought Daisy was a real, well, meanie pants. Five hours later. How much more of this do I have to do, Abigail? I was wondering the same thing. Just answer the next problem, Molly. Um, A. What? No! Oh, I give up. Yeah, me too. I'm going for a snack. Wait a minute. A snack? That's it. <laughs> Follow me into the kitchen, Molly. Why, are you hungry too? No, but I'm going to prove once and for all that I have the biggest brain in the entire school. Molly, do you see these delicious tacos? Yeah, give me them. Give me them. Hands off, Molly. What? No. You want to let me eat those, right? Ha, ha, ha. I'll make you a deal. If you can answer this question correctly, you can eat all of the tacos. Wow. Really? Oh, wait a minute. But I'm not very smart. How will I answer correctly? Trust me. I think you're going to get this just fine, Molly. Look at these tacos. Now, if I had 100% of the tacos, then it would all be mine, correct? Uh, yeah, but why would you get 100% of the tacos? I want 100% of the tacos. Oh, Molly, see? You're already learning the math you're supposed to. Really? Yeah, percentages. Now, if I took away half the tacos, what would you have left? 50%. Ha ha ha! It's so working! Apparently, you just need to think of math as, well, food. So, when you're getting your test tomorrow, just imagine every question is food. Oh, Abigail, now I see why you do have the biggest brain. <laughs> yep, I'm about to prove it to everyone. <laughs> well, I hope we don't use that big brain power to turn out to be a supervillain someday. Uh -oh. Hey, Abigail, do you ever do anything fun, like ever, in your entire life? Yeah, learning is fun. I love math and science. No, I mean, you taught me something today. I'm going to teach you something. Come on. What are you doing, Molly? What's happening? <laughs> We're going to play a game. What? No, I don't like games. Yeah, you'll love it. Trust me. You can borrow my sister's skateboard. What? I don't ride skateboard. Yeah, you do now. Come on, it's going to be fun. Um, I'm not so sure about this, Molly. Live a little, Abby. Live a little. Come on. Oh, my God. Molly, this is a really big hill. You can do it, Abigail. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. This is crazy. Yeah. Watch this. <laughs> you can go off the diving board and flip it in the pool. Oh, uh, this is like a bad idea. It's a great idea. <laughs> Right in school. Molly, over here! That was so crazy! I went to Brookhaven Outer Space! <laughs> Did you learn something while you were up there? Real life, you know? Like, you just learned about that in science class, and now you actually went there for real. It was so cool! I guess I just need to take a break from school and learning sometimes. Yeah, and I guess sometimes I actually need to study and, like, pay attention in school and, like, do my homework and stuff at least like once in a while yeah i guess we both can learn something from each other molly 
Exactly. The next day. Crooky, are you okay? No, Molly, I'm not okay. Apparently, you don't have time for your best friend anymore. What? Oh, I, I'm so sorry, Brookie. I, I've i been really busy lately. Yeah, with Abigail. Yo, Molly, what's up? Oh my gosh, I had so much fun hanging out with you last night. <laughs> I rode my skateboard to school. Wait, you went and bought a skateboard? Yeah, it's so awesome, right? Wait a minute. You didn't have time for me, but you hung out with Abigail? <gasps> oh, we really aren't best friends anymore! Brookie! Ugh, just let her go. You have me now, Molly. No, Brookie's like my, been my best friend since preschool. Well, it's a good thing I'm your best friend too because you wouldn't have passed this test without me. Molly, you made Brookie really have her feelings. Oh, hello, Abigail. Oh, Hello, Daisy. Uh-oh. Okay, I know you guys are like completely arch nemesis. Someone smack or she's stuck. Molly, step out of it. Oh, yeah, arch nemesis. Okay, Molly, that's enough of that. Anyway, you guys are more alike than you think. I think you guys could be BFFs. What? Never. Uh-oh. Never. Okay, Molly, now's your chance to prove I've got the biggest brain. What? What are you talking about? You can even tutor your sister, right? You obviously don't have the biggest brain. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? If it was up to you, she'd fail every single test from here on out. But because she had me, big brain Abigail, she's finally learning how to do her math homework. And she's going to pass this grade so easily, you just watch. Well, I tried to tutor her, but she's a pain in the butt. Ow. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna just go ahead and go to class now. You two have fun arguing. <laughs> I can't believe Daisy. I can't believe Molly. I can't believe Abigail. I can't believe it. I got an A on my test. <gasps> <laughs> soccer team if it's the last thing I do. I just have to practice a lot and then I'll get really good and I'll be able to make it when I try out for the soccer team. They'll make me, um, maybe they'll make me soccer team captain. O-M-G. Uh-oh. I dropped my, my, my soccer ball in, in Sarah's fountain. Oh, uh, whatever. Are you serious? You are so terrible at soccer. I mean, you put it in my fountain. What were you even thinking? Um, sorry about that, Sarah. I didn't mean to. I was just practicing and, and well, I'm, I'm trying to get better so I can make it out of the soccer team. You will never be good enough to be on the soccer team. You're such a loser. Don't even bother practicing. Why would you say that, Sarah? I I'm working really hard. Because it's the truth. Ugh. Once a loser, always a loser. Oh, <laughs> that was really mean of you to say. <laughs> Molly, are you okay? What's going on? I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? Are you okay? You never call me. You always text. I'm not okay. I, 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 Molly, come down. Tell me. You can tell me anything. I know. That's why I called you because you're my best friend. But I was playing soccer and, and Sarah was bullying me about being terrible. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry she was saying that to you. That's, that's really not nice. Um, Molly, I'm so sorry, but I have to go do some homework now. But can we talk tomorrow? Yeah. I'm sorry, Molly. I'm sorry you're hurting right now. But don't forget, we're BFFs. I know. Thanks for listening, Brookie. Bye. Brookie! Hey, good morning! Oh, what's Sarah doing? Hey, Brookie. Nice to see you. Good morning. Sarah, why are you talking to my best friend? 
I didn't know it was illegal to talk to people at school. Well, well, but she's my best friend. Um, Molly, it's okay. Everything's fine. Don't freak out. Not everything is fine. I... What? Are you feeling kind of jealous? <laughs> Maybe she wants to talk to me too, Molly. You don't own Brookie. Whatever! Oh, this is such the worst day of my life ever! Molly, what's going on? Are you okay? No, I'm having another bad day and it just started. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry you're having such a rough time. But we have to get ready for this quiz we're having in math class. I can't even think about the quiz. All I can think about is the fact that... My best friend is becoming friends with Sarah, who's a giant bully! Aww. Okay, class, um, everybody come on in, come on. We have a quiz today. Molly, did you study? Yeah, sort of. Aww, could this day get any worse? Probably. I mean, you also look terrible in that orange-yellow sweater or whatever it is. Oh my gosh, now she's picking on my fashion sense too? Wow. This test is so much harder than I thought it would be. This test is a piece of cake. Oh, no wonder she thinks it's easy. She's so much smarter than me. I'm such a loser. Molly, don't say that. I just feel terrible about myself today. Sarah's really making me feel down. Okay, everybody, please hand in your test. Uh, the, uh... Test? I thought it was a quiz! Sorry, I meant quiz. The, the, uh, the class is over, so, uh, yeah, I just need to go get a cup of coffee. It's Monday and my brain's not awake yet. Okay, no problem, Mr. Jared. Phew, I'm glad that math test is over, quiz, whatever, whatever it was! It was horrible and I don't ever want to take it ever again. <laughs> Time to get out my books from English class. What's this? It's a letter, I wonder who it could be from. Dear Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean? My BFF is Sarah? At least she's honest? Oh my gosh. Brookie... Brookie doesn't want to be my friend anymore! <laughs> I don't know what I ever did wrong, but I don't think that I'm mean or a liar. Molly, are you in here? You missed all of English class. Molly, are you with you? Just go away, Daisy! Molly, I know I'm only your sister, but... If you need me to be, I could be your friend, too. Come on out, Molly. Talk to me. Oh, I, I'm i having the worst life ever. Oh, there, there, Molly. I'll give you a hug and then make you feel a lot better. It doesn't make me feel... Okay, it made me feel a little bit better, but... But I can't figure out why Brookie doesn't like me anymore. What? Brookie doesn't like you anymore. This is news to me. What's going on, Molly? I saw her hanging out with Sarah this morning. She was probably just talking to her to be nice. Yeah, but then I got this letter in the, in my locker. What? Let me see that. It says, Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean, and I want to be best friends with Sarah because at least she's honest. Holy guacamole! This must sort of be some sort of huge misunderstanding. It must be, Molly. You know Brookie loves you. You're her best friend, and you've been that way since preschool, since you were toddlers. Well, this letter says it all. Our friendship, it's over. Well, Molly, at least we're having pizza for lunch. Well, yeah, I guess that is a plus. You, you can't you can't knock having pizza for lunch. Well, but it's still making me really upset. Come on, Molly. The pizza will at least make you smile a little. You gotta be hungry. Yeah, I am pretty hungry. Okay, let's go to lunch. Pizza makes everything better, right? <gasps> oh my God. Brookie and Sarah are sitting next to each other. That letter must be true. Oh, look, it's a loser, Brookie. Don't let her sit next to us. Well, um, uh, oh, <laughs> everyone hates me, including my best friend. <laughs> Just hide behind this dumpster where nobody can find me. That's all anybody thinks I'm worth, trash. <laughs> We've been friends since we were toddlers and now she doesn't even like me anymore <laughs> who's texting me oh, it's brookie i'm i'm not even gonna look at it i mean why should i she's she's not even my friend anymore i mean she's made it clear that she doesn't want to be my friend so why just keep sending me texts to be mean to me or something i don't need to look at those i, I don't need to look at them we're not friends anymore. 20 minutes later. Ha! Ah, what are you guys?
guys doing here? Well, we are walking home from school. You missed the rest of the day. Yeah, Molly, what were you thinking? Skipping school? Ugh, you're obviously not a good student. Well, um, that was never in question, was it? I mean, what's in question here is if I was a good friend and I don't think I was a bad one. I mean, I, I never have lied to you and, and I don't think I was mean to you. And if I have been, I, I, we don't want to hear it. Ugh, what's that smell? Ew, you smell like a dumpster. No wonder you're next to it because <laughs> you smell like garbage. Molly, I'm sorry, but Sarah just seems like a better friend. I mean, at least she's honest. Yeah, but she's a bully. You want to be a bully? Well, I mean, you just don't know her like I do, okay? So, um, we're breaking up as friends. What? You don't want to be my friend anymore? Sorry, Molly, but no, I don't. I just want to be Sarah's friend now, and she's going to be my, my BFF, right, Sarah? Yeah, whatever. We're going to be BFFs. It's going to be awesome. I mean, she brings me coffee in the morning from Starbucks, so she's pretty cool. Listen to the yourself, Brookie. She's not a real friend. She's a bully. Molly, you're not going to change my mind about this. I want to be Sarah's friend. Well, I guess all of those years of us being BFFs mean nothing to you. You're right, Molly. They don't mean anything to me anymore. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> my life as I know it is over. It's just over. I mean, I don't even have a BFF anymore. Who am I even? Whoa, Molly, is your day still going really, really bad? Totally. Sarah and Brookie found me by the dumpster. What were you doing by the dumpster? Ew, it kind of smells bad. Don't remind me. They already did. What's going on, Molly? She decided she doesn't want to be my BFF anymore. What? So the letter was true? Yeah, every word. She's going to be Sarah's BFF. Oh, Molly. Do you need a hug? Yes, I need a hug. <laughs> except for, except for Brookhaven. We're like ghosts. We can't actually hug each other. <laughs> well, we can just hug like this, Molly. Here you go. There's a good hug for you. Oh, a Brookhaven hug. It'll have to do. <laughs> Molly, I'm always here for you. Even though we don't get along. Sometimes I'm your sister and I love you. And I'll be your BFF until you find a new one. But what about Brookie? I thought she was my everything. My BFF. Well, Molly, I'm sorry you've had such a bad day. I hope things get better for you. Me too. Me too. dishes to do over here would anyone like to help me but please sorry honey but this awesome show is on and it's <laughs> super funny hey we were supposed to watch that together as a family well mom it turns on at exactly seven o'clock and you're still doing dishes so sorry you have to miss out Ooh. Mm, annoying oh, i finally got baby kira down for the night now i can get some vacuuming done um, girls, would you mind picking up all of your stuff? Uh, Mom, uh, we're eating a snack right now. Correction, Molly, you're eating a giant snack. Molly? Wow. Uh, that was the ham that I was going to use for tomorrow night's dinner. Sorry, Mom, it looked like it'd make a delicious sandwich. <laughs> Boy, was I right. Okay, well, the show is off now. Maybe you guys can help me pick up a little bit, you know, after you eat that giant sandwich, Molly. I'm kind of feeling hungry for a sandwich, too. Would you make me one, honey? Uh, uh, Please, I'm so hungry. Me, too. You guys hardly ate any of your dinner. That's because, well, um, it was kind of... What she he's trying to say is, bleh, it was gross. Yeah. Oh, Molly, I wasn't going to say it that way. Fine, I'll make you all snacks since my dinner was so gross. Are you guys happy now? Mmm, this popcorn's delicious. Mmm. Dad and I are eating sandwiches that are bigger than us. I see that. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good with the mustard. Mmm. Oh no, baby Kira woke up again. Honey, is baby Kira okay? Yeah, she just needs another bottle. Wow, that kid is an eating machine. 
Yeah, she must be having a growth spurt. Finally, the kids are in bed, so now I can play some video games. Video games? Ugh, I don't get to have that downtime. Why not? You just have to take it. Yeah, apparently. But I don't have time to take it. I didn't get the chance to mow the grass today. You're gonna mow the grass at 9 o'clock at night? I don't see where I have a choice. Everything has to get done. Adulting. Ugh. This has been the longest day of my life. Ugh. Is that the sun coming up? Did I mow the grass all night long? Oh my gosh. Today is going to be now the longest day ever. Ooh. Hey, there you are. Mom, we're just waiting for breakfast. Um, you're five minutes late. What? I was up all night doing chores and mowing the grass and, and, and now you want breakfast? Uh, yeah, you are mom. Uh, of course we do. Oh! <laughs> no need to cry, Mom. Just make breakfast for us, please. Yeah, honey, we're starving. That's it. I have had enough. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm not feeling so good. <gasps> what? Honey, are you okay? Uh-oh! No. I have to go sit on the couch. Oh, oh no! Who's gonna make us breakfast? You'll have to make them breakfast. But I always burn the toast in the toaster. Sorry, honey, but I think um I need to run to the bathroom. Mom? Oh, that was the garage. Oh, what am I doing? Where's my bathroom? Honey, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, I'm just gonna fake throwing up. Here we go. Blah! Honey, are you throwing up? Now, I have to grab some pillows off of the bed. <gasps> Perfect. <laughs> They'll never know. Honey, are you okay? I'm just not feeling well. I'm gonna lay in bed. Honey, are, are you feeling okay? Do you have the stomach bug? It's it's the morning. You're, you're supposed to be getting up now. I know, I just don't feel well. I feel like I did when I was pregnant with baby Kira. <gasps> Wait, what? What's that bump underneath the blankets? Honey, can you get out of bed for a minute? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Honey, why are you laying in bed? It's almost time for, for work. I, I, uh, uh, I, 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 uh, <laughs> you're really struggling today, even more than me. Uh, are you okay? Oh, he's planking. Um, yeah. Uh, honey, you're taking a nap when you're not in bed. I think you might be, well, freaking out. Yeah, y y you look pregnant. Oh, well, maybe I should take a test. So, honey, what were the results? What happened? Well, I went into the bathroom and took a test and, well, yes, I'm pregnant. Oh, this is actually amazing news. I'm going to be dad again. Ah! You sure are. Wait, what? <gasps> Another baby? I hope it's a boy this time. What are you girls eating for breakfast? Hot dogs. It's all dad could make. What? All you have to do is put the hot dog in the microwave. It's breakfast, okay? La, 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 la. Gonna be a dad. Oh, yeah. Gonna be a dad. Again. Oh, yeah. Gonna be a dad. Wait a minute. Diapers? So many diapers? I don't think about that. I'm gonna be a dad again. I'm gonna be a dad. Well, now that I'm pregnant, obviously I can't do all this work around here. Wait, what? <gasps> what? What? That's right. You guys are gonna have to do all the cooking, all the cleaning. I'm just gonna have to sit here and rest. But, honey, but... but... No buts. Pregnant mom needs to rest. Gotta take good care of baby. Okay, we'll try our best to do everything around here. Right, girls? Well, we'll try. Uh-oh. Wow, this is a ton of work. I know. Tell me about it. Look at all these dishes. Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. Honey, um, can I wash these white socks with this uh red shirt? No. Absolutely not. Didn't you ever learn how to do laundry? 
Not really. First my mom did my laundry, and then you! Well, and now's the perfect time to figure it out. Mom, I'm making the grocery list. Is there anything you would like? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'd like some chocolate ice cream. I would like some peanut butter cupcakes. Wow. I would like some chocolate chip cookies. Whoa, can't tell you're pregnant or anything. <laughs> Gonna put on about 100 pounds this time, huh? What? I will not. Oh, whoops, wrong thing to say. Gotta take the trash out, bye. Who locked the door? I gotta get out of here. My wife's gonna, she's gonna kill me. <laughs> Mom, um, so what else do you need for the groceries? Ah, uh, just those things. Surprise me with the rest. Wow, it's been like nine months since I faked my pregnancy. I guess I better stick some more pillows in there so it looks more accurate. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do just fine. Honey, I'm home from work. Where are you? Oh, I was just in here taking a nap, you know, resting for the baby. Whoa, there you are. Oh, my God. What's going on with your stomach? What do you mean? <laughs> you know I'm in my final trimester. Honey, I think you might be having twins or maybe an alien. That's a giant stomach. Oh, I just want to touch the babies inside your tummy. No, 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 no. No touching my tummy. <laughs> the babies won't like that. Babies? Do you know something that I don't? Yes, honey. I went to the doctor today. I'm having twins. Ah! Oh, my God. I know, honey. Don't freak out too much. Come on, let's go have dinner. Mm. This light bulb needs changing. I'm still doing dishes nine months later. Oh, everybody, you're eating off of paper plates from now on. Holy macaroni and cheese. Look at the baby bump. Oh, my God. Mom, you're going to have like five babies in there. Maybe they're puppies. <laughs> Daisy, Mom can't have puppies. Well, that's what they look like when a mom and dog's going to have like 15 babies. Okay, okay, quit teasing your mom about her big fat tummy. What? No, it's the old baby. It's all baby. Okay, let's have dinner, everybody. Uh, Dad, are you making us dinner? Yeah, Dad, are you making us dinner? Oh, no, not again. <laughs> oh, I don't seem to fit between the chair and the, and the table. <laughs> My baby bump is squished. Be careful, honey. If you slam their heads up against the table, you might give them brain damage. You better sit on the couch. Okay. Here you go, honey. A nice, nutritious meal for the babies. I even put some cookies on there. Ooh, watermelon. My favorite. Oh. These pillows in my shirt are so uncomfortable. Ugh, and I shouldn't have eaten so many Oreos for dessert. Oh, my stomach really hurts. Well, honey, did, did you say your stomach really hurt? No, no, honey, go back to sleep. I'm fine. No, honey, I can't go back to sleep. It's been nine months and your stomach hurts. You know what this means. Come on, we have to go to the hospital. Oh, my God. I didn't think about this part where I'd have to go to the hospital and actually have the babies. What are you talking about? Of course you're gonna have to have our twins. <laughs> That's why you've been sitting around for nine months. Uh, yeah, uh-huh, sure, L let's go. Oh, I can't get up. The babies are too heavy, I'll just have to stay here. Honey, seriously, get out of bed, we have to go. Come on, honey, sit down in this wheelchair. I don't think I need that, I'm feeling fine. It was probably just a fart. No, it's not a fart, the babies are coming. Come on. We have to get you inside. Ooh, I can barely move this wheelchair. You've put on a lot of weight with this pregnancy. What? No, no, I haven't. Honey, look at your tummy. Of course you have. Get out of the way. Pregnant woman on board. Twin babies. Honey, I think that I'm just fine. Like, I, I don't think that I'm pregnant anymore. Honey, you're so pregnant you don't even fit into the elevator. I don't think so. What? But, no, I, I think it just might have all been gas. For nine months and your stomach looking like that? I don't think so. You're having these babies, whether you like it or not. Who's this kid? Are you an intern? No, I'm your doctor. Wow. Now, what seems to be the issue? 
What do you mean, what seems to be the issue? Can you not look at her stomach? She's about to have babies! Okay, miss. No jumping around. Where are you going? <gasps> I don't think I need to have babies anymore! She's lost her mind. The babies are made her crazy or something. <laughs> Honey, get in here. You have to go into the labor room. Oh, God. How am I going to get out of this now? I mean, oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm not actually pregnant. What am I going to do? Okay, I'm just going to examine your tummy a little bit. Please hold still, Miss Acker. <laughs> oh, your stomach feels very funny. Let me give it a little push here. <laughs> <laughs> a little pregnancy gas, I see. See? I, I don't need to have babies. I just had to fart. That's all. Honey, quit being so ridiculous. You're going to have twins. It's going to be okay. You've had, you've had, you know, other kids. You're going to be fine. Hmm. Your tummy seems very peculiar. Uh, Mr. Acker, would you go get some coffee, please? It's going to be a pretty long night, I think. Are you going to be okay, honey? Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> the doctor will take good care of me. Okay, now that he's gone, spill. Ow! I can see that there's just pillows stuffed up your shirt. Well, um, um, let me guess. He overworks you at home and your kids don't help or pitch in. Yeah? How did you know? I see this with women at least three times a week. <laughs> now... I'm just going to tell your husband that it was a giant gas bubble that's been trapped in your stomach for nine months. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll just emphasize that he doesn't have to change any dirty diapers. Oh, thank you. You're the best doctor ever. Honey, did you have the baby while I was out getting coffee? You weren't supposed to do that. Where is the baby? Um, Mr. Acker, we need to have a conversation. <laughs> Oh. oh, what? Did, wait, why is that cat in here? Did you give birth to a cat? What? Honey, have you lost your mind? Of course I didn't give birth to a cat. <coughs> oh, it's an angry cat. Kind of glad it's not our kid. Mr. Acker, your wife had a serious case of gas bubble. <gasps> wait, what? Where, where's my twin babies? There are no twin babies, honey. I just really had to fart. Wait, What? But, 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 cute little names have put them out. Well, Mr. Acker, just think about it. No dirty diapers, no added expenses. This is going to save you so much time and money that it was just a fart. Honey, that was a big fart. I mean, <laughs> you could have just taken some gas X at any point in the nine months. Mr. Acker, I think your wife mm, probably got intense bouts of gas because she was forced to do all the work at home. That would give anybody indigestion. Uh-oh! Oh, oh I, I didn't think about it like that. Uh, I'm sorry, honey. That's okay. You can make it up to me by getting me some flowers, getting me some DoorDash, and starting to help more around the house. Don't worry, honey. I will. But do you still want to have twins? Um, we'll think about it. Thanks, doctor. You're a real lifesaver. Boop that like button if you love cookies. In this video, <laughs> this video is hilarious. Uh oh, gotta go potty. <sighs> You dropped your phone in the toilet? Please, I, I need a new phone. Molly, I'm sorry, but I can't afford that right now. I have to buy groceries for all of you kids and dad and I. It's all I have that's budgeted for, for groceries. I don't have money for a new phone. Hey, what's that over there? It's, it's money. I'm supposed to get a phone after all. Molly, do you know something about my missing money? If you do, you better tell me right now. Daisy, you are grounded for a month. But I, I... <laughs> this video is hilarious. Uh-oh, gotta go potty. <sighs> oh, um, gee, I just dropped my phone in the toilet and now it's ruined. Oh, no. Oh. 
Whoa, Molly, what's wrong with you? I got a new monkey. I love my monkey toy. No one cares about the monkey. Whoa, Molly, rude. That's your baby sister you're talking to. Try to be nice. Sorry, I'm just having a really bad moment. What is it, Molly? What happened? I dropped my phone in the toilet. <laughs> you did what? <laughs> you made your phone swim in the toilet? <laughs> it's not funny, Daisy. My phone is ruined. I could get you out of my monkey and give you a hug. You feel better. I don't want your monkey to feel better. I want my phone. I was right in the middle of watching this super funny video. Well, <sighs> sorry, Molly, but I don't have any money you can borrow for a new phone. I'm going to ask Mom if she'll give me money. <laughs> yeah, right. She already bought you a new phone. I know, but I've got to try. Oh, hi, Molly. I'm just making the grocery list. Is there anything special you'd like from the grocery store? Now that you mentioned it, I'd like some pop tarts, some chocolate ice cream. Don't forget the ice cream cones. Um, some chocolate bars. Ooh, the cupcakes that have like the fudge in the center and Molly. No, not a bunch of junk food. Oh, okay, I guess this day is just getting worse and worse and worse. What's wrong, Molly? You can talk to me about anything. Mom, I know you just bought me a new phone because I dropped the other one in the parking lot at school and it smashed it, but I um, had another little accident with my new phone. Wait, what? Don't tell me that you ruined your new phone. Well, I was watching this video, and I know you said don't take it into the bathroom because I'm clumsy and I'm probably going to, you know, drop it in the toilet. And, well, exactly what you said would happen. Happened! Molly, you dropped your phone in the toilet? Yeah, kind of funny, right? Daisy laughed. No, not funny. Did it ruin it? Um, yeah, and I was hoping. Would you give me some, some, some more money, Mom? Please, I, I need a new phone. Molly, I'm sorry, but... I can't afford that right now. I have to buy groceries for all of you kids and dad and I. It's all I have that's budgeted for, for groceries. I don't have money for a new phone. Uh-oh. What? What am I going to do with it out of phone? Read a book? Play outside? Um, count sheep? I don't know. Mom, that's what you do when you can't sleep. Oh, yeah, well, I don't know. I'm out of ideas then. Nobody knows. The trouble I'm in, nobody knows how sad I am. Told you, Molly, she wasn't gonna go for it. Girls, I need you to go up and clean your rooms, please. Seriously, could this day get any worse? Baby Kira and I are gonna head out to the grocery store. Are you ready, Baby Kira? I wanna be my monkey kid, Mom. Okay, honey, let's go. <laughs> Can't stop crying. How will I Snapchat? How will I play Roblox? How will I text Brookie? How will I call to order DoorDash? Worst day ever. My name is Daisy, just like the flower. Daisy, could you stop being so happy around me? Sorry, it's just my nature. My name is Daisy. Daisy, stop singing that song. It's driving me crazy. Whoa, you are so grumpy and rude right now, Molly. I'm just doing my chores and trying to keep a happy outlook on life. Well, there's nothing happy. I broke my phone. I sunk it to the bottom of the toilet ocean. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't supposed to not laugh there because it's not funny, but it's still really funny. <laughs> Sorry, toilet ocean. Your, your phone was like a... A sinking ship. <laughs> Daisy, my life is over. Molly, it's just a phone. Go out and live your life if you need to. I can't. My phone to Snapchat, DoorDash, texting, looking at funny videos, Roblox. Oh, Molly. Well, I guess you're just going to have to get a job. A job? Wait, what? No, 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 no. Definitely not. Jobs are worse than homework, I bet. Yeah, there's someone bossing you around, and you have to do what they say, but basically you get money for it, so I guess it's better than homework in that way. Oh, I think I might be way too lazy for that. 
I'm gonna go make myself feel better by eating a cookie. Well, at least I still have you, chocolate chip cookie. Mm. Friends for life. Mm. Delicious. Uh, I guess I'll just go watch some TV. Hey, what's that over there? It's, it's money! And loads of it! Holy guacamole, it's $500! <laughs> well, I guess the hands of fate have spoken. I'm supposed to get a phone after all. Daisy, I'll see you later. I'm going to town. Gonna take a nice little walk. Uh-oh. Mom, can I have a chocolate bar? Well, I don't know, honey. The budget's kind of tight this week. I really want something delicious. I'll tell you what, if you're a good girl while we're in the store, I'll buy you a chocolate bar and we can split it, okay? Okay, I love it. I want the chocolate kind with your peanut butter. Oh, Reese Cups. Good choice, baby Kira. I love it. Hi, welcome to Sunshine Market. Are you having a good day today? Yeah, I'm having a pretty good day. <laughs> I mean, I could afford all my groceries, which is surprising because it seems like they keep going up and up and up and up. Yeah, I know. Everybody's been complaining about that recently. Okay, let me just load up your cart for you. Okay, that will be $495.98. Wow, I kept it under $500 for our whole huge family. Ah, that's awesome. And that's for two weeks of groceries. Okay, where's my money? It was right here in my pocket. Um, do you have the money to pay? I don't know what happened to the money. It was right here in my pocket. And, and, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Well, I guess I'll have to pay with my, my credit card. <laughs> I've been trying to just use cash, you know, that way I don't spend more than I have. But, um, I guess I'll just use my credit card and try to find the money later. Well, you need to have groceries, so I guess you will. <laughs> Hopefully you find your money, though. I'm so happy right now, because I got a new phone. <laughs> best day ever. It used to be the worst day, but now it's the best one. I have no idea where that grocery money went, except for the fact that I have, well, a little bit of a hole in my pocket, and I think that it fell out the bottom of my pocket. Oh, no. I'm okay, Mama, and we can go be okay. Oh, where am I going to get $500 to pay off a credit card bill? Oh, it's got to be around here somewhere. I just know it. Mom, what exactly are you doing? Did you lose one of your contacts again? No, I just, I lost this money and... Whoa, well, you did? I did too, Mama. I have, I have Mama. I have What's everyone doing? Are we pretending we're dogs? I can play this game too. Woof! 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 No, Mama lost our money. What? What did you say? I can't understand you. You're talking baby talk. She's saying that Mom lost her money. She has a little hole in her pants pocket and the money fell right out. Wait. What? You, you lost money? H how much? $500. It was the money I was taking for the groceries. <laughs> well, you should be real more careful with your money, Mom. You shouldn't just leave it laying around. What? What are you talking about? Molly, do you know something about my missing money? If you do, you better tell me right now or else. Um, uh, uh, uh. It was, it was Daisy. What? What? I, I, I. Daisy? You are grounded for a month. But I, I, I... I can't even believe this, Daisy. Maybe from Molly, because she's sometimes naughty, but not you. I don't know what to say. I'm... I, I, I... Uh... Uh-oh. Well, Molly, thank you for telling me the truth about that. Um, you're... You're welcome? <laughs> So disappointed in Daisy. Obviously, if there's money just laying on the floor inside her house, it belongs to somebody. Why would she think she could just take it? Um, because she didn't realize that it belonged to you? Well, it belonged to somebody. People don't just leave $500 laying around, do they? 
I don't know, maybe the universe just wanted you to have it. Molly, quit trying to make excuses for Daisy. It was wrong of her to not try to find the owner of the $500. Yeah, so wrong. I'll find the money. Cha, 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 cha. Well, no, baby Kara, uh, we already found the money and Daisy has it. I wonder what she spent it on. Mm, da, yum, 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 yum. Baby Kara, what are you eating? I found this hot dog under the couch. Oh, honey, that's super old. We ate hot dogs like a month ago. Where did that come from? Ew. Oh, nobody cleaned out of the couch. Ew, stop eating that, baby Kara. That's gross. Stop it. It's mine. I eat it if I want. Oh, gross. My life. Wait a minute. I didn't actually take the money. I just got accused of taking the money. I was so upset and emotional. I didn't think about this, well, with my brain. And the truth of it is, I just got framed. I was too busy crying and sad and upset that mom thought I did something wrong. I forgot about the fact that I didn't actually do something wrong. And now I'm going to find out. Who did? <laughs> this video is hilarious. <laughs> Daisy, I'm on the toilet. What are you doing? Molly, where did you get that new phone? New phone? What new phone? Uh oh Molly, you found the $500 on the floor, and you bought a new phone with it, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't have a phone. I'm innocent. Molly, you framed me, and you got me in so much trouble with Mom. That's it. I'm telling. Mom! What? No, Daisy, you tattletale. Don't you dare. Okay, what am I going to do with this new phone? i got to hide the evidence. Oh, I can't flush it down the toilet. It's too beautiful. Don't even think about it. Daisy, you'll pay for this. Um, why are we hanging out in the bathroom, girls? Did the toilet plug again? Molly, you really need to eat less bean burritos. She flamed me. What? Well, her picture is pretty nice from school, but I didn't know you had a frame to put it in. No, Mom! Framed as in, she made me guilty when she was guilty. What? No, it was Daisy. She took the $500. She bought a new phone. Check her pockets. Daisy! What? Molly, show me your pockets. Um... Molly! <gasps> uh, Molly, you are... Rounded. I'm sorry. I didn't know the $500 belonged to, to you, Mom. Well, who did you think it belonged to? Maybe Daisy. Well, did you think Daisy would want you to steal her money? Well, I figured finders keepers, <laughs> losers, weepers. Molly, not in this house. Not in this house. I'm sorry, Daisy, that I accused you. Well, it was actually Molly. You were just doing your mom duties. <sighs> Molly, you are grounded for the next two weeks. And I'm going to expect you to do chores to earn that money back. Can I keep the phone? Not. Well, I don't know what to do about that, but you're grounded from it for at least two weeks. And I can't believe... Wait, did you just have the phone next to the toilet again? Uh, she did. No, you're grounded from the phone for at least a month until you can pay me back for it. Ugh. This turned back into the worst day ever again. Uh. Boop that like button if you love cookies. In this video, I'm here. What I miss? What I miss? Uh, Molly, you missed getting your test back. I'm going to have to call your mom. This is starting to get serious. Ooh. What? No! Don't call my mom, mom. I got an A on my test. Congratulations, and Molly, your teacher called. May I please see your test? Uh, I don't know. I lost it. Molly, now please. Okay, here you go. Oh, Molly, another failing grade? Molly, go to your room and do some studying. I'm such an ignoramus. Come on, it's time for bed. Okay, please, Mom, I don't want to fail. I know you don't, Molly. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll worry about it in the morning, okay? Okay, Mom. 
Congratulations, Brookie. You got a great grade on your math test. I did? Oh my gosh, I studied so hard this week. You sure did. Great job. And Daisy, you also got a great grade. Of course I did. I always get a great grade in math class. Sam, you got a B plus. That's really good. It's a big improvement from your last test. Well, I, I worked a lot in my workbook this week, and so I think my grades are going to keep getting better and better. Great! And wait, where's Molly? Again! Uh-oh! Oh, she missed the bus! Oopsie! Oh, that girl is never on time for school, ever! I'm here! what I miss? what I miss? Uh, Molly, you missed getting your test back. Uh, I didn't miss anything too important then. <laughs> Molly, you were the only one in class that failed your test. I'm going to have to call your mom. This is starting to get serious. Ooh. What? No, don't call my mom. Oh, she's going to ground me for life. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, 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 look who we have here. Hi, Mama. How was your day? I hope it was great. It was great, Molly. Do you have something you'd like to show me? Uh, how about this beautiful smile? I'm just so happy to see you. <laughs> Marty, she means your failing test. Dizzy, shh, be quiet. <laughs> yeah, um, Mom, I got an A on my test. Congratulations, and Molly, your teacher called. May I please see your test? Uh, I don't know, I lost it. Molly, now please. Okay, here you go. Oh, Molly... Another failing grade? Ugh. I'm gonna have to talk to your father about this. Oh no! Please don't ground me, Mom! Please! Molly, go to your room and do some studying. Oh, okay, how about I play Roblox for a little bit? <coughs> Molly, don't push your luck. Uh, okay. Whoa, that made a great Snapchat. Daisy, I can't believe you! You're so rude! Ugh. I feel like I'm never going to understand this math. I'm such an ignoramus. Oh, I keep failing and failing and failing. Whoa, good to see you studying for a change, Molly. But I'm afraid mm, you may fail the year anyway. What? No! I have to be in the same grade with my BFF. Yes, I know that's important to you to be with Brookie, but the truth of the matter is you failed so many tests, I don't think there's any turning it around now. You're probably going to have to repeat your grade. No! Mom, no! I'll do anything! Anything? Okay, well, we'll talk about this more in the morning. Come on, it's time for bed. Okay, please, Mom, I, I don't want to fail! I know you don't, Molly. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll worry about it in the morning, okay? Okay, Mom. Good night! Oh, no. All of my studying and... And I'm still going to fail? Well, I mean, I only just studied tonight. <laughs> I guess I should have studied many, many other times. But, you know, I just, I don't want to fail. me to school. I missed the school bus. I overslept again. Oh, mom, 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 where are you? Oh, Molly, I was in the bathroom brushing my teeth. What? Why are you yelling? Mom, well, I'm, I overslept. I thought you were going to wake me up. Oh, it's okay, Molly. What? But, but the teacher said if I was late and I failed any more tests, I was going to fail for the year. I don't want to fail for the year. It means I won't be with Brookie anymore. Oh, no, Molly. <laughs> You're not going to school today. Wait, what? Was school canceled? Snow day! Molly, <laughs> it's not the middle of winter. Of course it's not a snow day. Then why? Why was school canceled? Is there another solar eclipse? 
No, your sister went to school, but you're going to be staying home from now on. Wait, what? Did I get expelled from school? No. Look, school hasn't been working for you for a while, Molly. and We have to try something different. What do you mean something different? Are you sending me to a private school where I have to wear a uniform? And, 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 and I, I don't have any fun time at all? No, Molly. We are going to be, well, homeschooling you. Wait, what? No, uh, no, 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 no. Then I'm never going to see my friends, especially not my BFF. I'm sorry, Molly. There's no other choice. You have to be homeschooled because, well, <sighs> this is your only option to pass the year. But, Mom, I thought you didn't even like school. No, I don't like homework. I don't like having to do all the schoolwork. But I like the school lunches. Ooh, pizza. And I like hanging out with my friends. And I like gym class. And I like recess. And I, I don't want to stay home. Sorry, Molly, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Speaking of cookies, I left a chocolate chip in the refrigerator for you. Oh, well, thanks. Now, why don't you go get dressed? Why, can I go to school? Please, please, please. No, Molly, I'll see you after work. Oh, my God. I can't believe my mom's going to try to homeschool me. I'm just going to get dressed. I'm sure I can talk her into driving me to school. Mom, I I'm ready to go to school. I promise I'm going to start getting better grades. I promise. Mom? M mom? Oh, maybe she's doing some laundry. Where is my mom? Mom? She been in the bathroom? Nope. Okay, I'm going to call her because I don't know what she's doing right now, but obviously... She, like, left the house. Maybe she went for some Dunkin' Donuts or something. Hey, Molly, what is it? Mom, where did you go? I went upstairs and brushed my teeth and got dressed, and you're, like, gone. Did you go to get Dunkin', and can you drive me to school? Molly, I told you already, you're going to be homeschooled. But you're not even here to homeschool me. That's because I'm at work. We'll start your homeschooling when I get home. What? But, Mom... That means at night, I'm not going to be able to see any of my friends anymore. Well, maybe on Saturdays when we're not homeschooling. Mom, this stinks. Are you even listening? Mom. Molly, this is what we have to do. Ugh. Mom. I have to go back to work, Molly. We'll start your homeschooling as soon as I get done with work. Bye. Bye. Oh, I can't believe my mom. This is going to be the worst day ever. I'm going to miss my friend. I'm gonna miss her and all the other people at school too. I never thought I'd say this, but I kind of am even gonna miss Sarah. Ugh. One hour later. So bored. So bored. No one to talk to. Nothing to do. Ugh. Hey, wait a minute. I just thought about something. None of my friends are on Roblox right now, but I bet some kids from other countries are probably on right now. Because, uh, their timing is different than ours, so, uh, it's probably much later there. And I'll have someone cool to play Roblox with. What? Internet disconnected? Ow! What is going on? <laughs> yes, Molly, what is it? Mom, the internet is not working. I know. <laughs> I had it blocked. No Roblox. You should be studying. Ooh. What? Mom, I want to play Roblox. I'm not going to have any free time. You're going to be at work all day and I have to study and then when you come home, I have to homeschool? What about fun time? Molly, well, right now, all you have to do is concentrate on getting through this grade and passing. So no fun time. <laughs> wow. Oh. OMG. Well, she can't stop me from watching TV. What? All that's on is this raccoon show? Being homeschooled so lame! Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I can use my phone to watch some TV. Yeah, maybe some YouTube or something. Or the Amazon app. <sighs> That's more like it. Honey, I am home! What? I just started watching something on my phone. No, 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 no. It's time for homeschool. Oh, really? Do we have to? Yes, Molly. Head over to the computer and we'll start our work. Ugh. You mean the internet finally works? Can I play Roblox? No, Molly. What we need to do is lots of schoolwork. 
starting with math. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Molly, I can't believe you're being homeschooled. Hi, Brookie. Uh, now's not a good time. Molly's actually doing her homeschooling. Wait, what? You have to do your homeschool after school? Yeah. It really stinks. Do you want to come outside and play soccer for a little while? No! Sorry, Brookie. She can't come outside and play soccer. She's doing her schoolwork. Yeah. It's terrible. Oh, man, Molly. I feel like we're never going to see each other anymore. Uh-oh. No. I thought failing this grade would be the worst thing ever. But not being able to see you at all is the worst thing ever. Come on, Molly. Molly, did you turn Roblox back on? Come on. Pull up your homework so we can get started. Ugh. Everything's homework now because I go to school at home. Hey, everybody. How's homeschooling going? Terrible. I don't think it's going so bad. Okay, Molly, why don't you answer number three? Oh, that's easy. It's um, B. Daisy, please let your sister answer. B. Wow. Okay, we'll have fun going to school after school. I'm going outside to play soccer with Bookie. <laughs> All right, Molly, can you give me the answer to number three, please? My brain hurts so bad. It's never had to work so hard before. Mom, you're such a bad teacher. You're mean and strict. Molly, seriously, let's just get this done, okay, before it's 10 o'clock at night? Fine, the answer is A. What? No, Molly, have you not been paying attention at all? I am paying attention, Mom, I'm just an ignoramus. Molly, don't say that. Mom, please, let me go back to school, please. Three hours later. Molly, we're only on question number 10. Please understand this work. Oh, I have to get up for work in the morning in just a few hours. I don't understand. Ugh, I give up. I'm always going to be dumb. Molly, you're not dumb. You just learn different than other people. And I'm not sure I'm the qualified teacher for you. Maybe we should send you back to school. Wait, what? Are you serious? Well, there's going to be some rules. Obviously, I'm not a very good teacher. Oh, I thought I was going to be good at homeschooling. And I thought you'd do better here, but it seems that you aren't getting the schoolwork here either. That tells me that you need someone to explain it to you that, well, understands how you learn. Really? Someone could teach me how I learn? Yeah, that person is a special teacher called a tutor. Now, here's the rules if you go back to regular school. One, you will do your homework and you will study for one hour every night. And every other night, you will work for one hour with the tutor. So that means at 5.30, you can go out with your friends. Really? Yep. You can go out with your friends until 7 o'clock when we eat dinner. Oh, at least I'll get to see Brookie for an hour and a half. That's way better than never. Do you agree to these rules, Molly? Yes, Mom, I agree. I will do my best to do my homework and study for one hour every night. And then every other night, spend one hour with the tutor. Great. Oh, I'm so relieved because I am terrible at teaching but I'm sure the tutor is going to be able to teach you in a way you can learn. Okay, Molly, so what is the answer to question number three? Well, Mr. A, it looks like it's, um, D. Correct. Really? I'm not an ignoramus? Nah, you just needed someone to teach you exactly how you learn. Wow. This is amazing, miraculous even. Okay, Molly, I think that's enough for today. Really? I can go play with my friends? You sure can. Great job. I'll see you in two days. Thank you. Ah, oh, phew. I'm not going to fail my grade. And I like my tutor. And I don't feel dumb. And Brookie is going to be here any minute. Hey, Molly. Oh, you scared me. I didn't even hear you sneak up behind me. <laughs> I'm so ready to hang out with you, Molly. I've missed you the last few days. Me too. 
I'm glad that I get to come back to school tomorrow. Well, just don't forget who the biggest boy in the school is. Uh, not for long, Daisy. I have a tutor, and I'm getting smarter by the day. Well, we may be genetically related, but you're nothing like me. <laughs> That's right. My brain's even bigger. Take that back, Molly. Nope. My brain is bigger. My brain is bigger. <laughs> Don't say no before you hear me out, okay? Rookie, what is it? I have so many chores to do today, honey. Mom, I know you always say no to me having sleepovers, but, but, but. Ah, oh, Brookie, not this again. Every weekend, honey, I told you no sleepovers. But mom, I've been doing so good in school. I've been studying, doing all my homework, getting perfect grades. Please, we'll follow your rules. Just let me have Molly and Daisy over, please. Ah, Brookie, all right, yes, you can have a sleepover this one time. Seriously, Mom? Are you serious? Yes, I get to have a sleepover. Do, 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 do. But you must follow all of the rules. Yes, I know, Mom. We'll follow all the rules. I promise. If you don't, no more sleepovers. Okay, Mom, we'll follow all the rules. Just let me be happy, okay? All right, Brookie, I've got a lot of chores to do. Make sure you call your friends and let them know. I will, Mom. Hey, what's up? Molly, is that your new way of answering the phone? No one ever calls me, so I don't really know how to answer a phone. I usually just text. Well, um, you might want to work on it a little bit because that was kind of funny. That's exactly my personality. Funny. Hey, what's up? So, yeah, what is actually up? Why are you calling me? Why didn't you just text me? Because I'm too excited. I have to tell you, like, well, not in person, but, like, so you can hear my voice. My mom finally agreed to a sleepover. Say what? Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> it only took me two years of asking and begging every weekend. She finally said you guys can come over for a sleepover tonight. Are you and Daisy busy? Doesn't matter what our plans are. We'll be there. Daisy, 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 Daisy. What? What are you yelling at me for, Molly? I'm not yelling. I'm, I'm excited at yelling, I guess. Okay, Molly, calm down. What is it? Brookie just called me. And then, and then, and then, her mom finally said she could have a sleepover. Yeah. Holy guacamole. Really? When? Like next year? Next 10 years? When did she say? Tonight! Really? Oh my gosh, we're finally having a sleepover at Brookie's house. Yeah, we've got to pack a bag. We have to be there in 30 minutes. What? I'll never be ready in time. I have so much to pack. Daisy, all you need is a pair of pajamas. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Don't you be ridiculous. I'm a fashionista. I'm Daisy and I must always be dressed perfectly. Daisy, no one cares what you're wearing to the sleepover. It's just going to be the three of us. I still want to look amazing for it. Okay, Daisy, if you say so. I'm just going to grab some uh, some pajamas out of the dirty clothes. Ew, Molly! Yeah, I sort of forgot to do my laundry. <laughs> hey, guys! Welcome to my house! Come on in! Uh, 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 uh! Stop right there! What? What? What did I do? You have to take your shoes off and then wash your feet in this bucket, please. Oh, Mom! Not the bucket! Please! Ugh! It's so embarrassing! I just had these floors put in and they are perfect. I don't want any scuff marks or dirt on them ever. I have some indoor shoes you girls can wear. They're brand new so you won't get anything on them. Whoa! Would you have them in my size? Of course I do! <laughs> All right, so just stick your feet in the bucket, please. You can leave your, your bags right over there. Oh my gosh, your mom is really, well, strict. I know, I know. Don't remind me. Okay, just gotta get my other foot. Okay, Daisy, your turn. Wow, I never met such a neat freak before. Yeah, that's just how my mom is. Come on, guys. Um, Let's go make a snack. Ooh, snacks, my favorite. Hey, Brookie's mom, uh, what kind of snacks you got? We have healthy food, like apples and bananas and we'll take some popcorn so we can watch a movie um popcorn is really messy mom come on it's my first sleepover everyone has popcorn at sleepovers it's true pretty much everybody does have popcorn at sleepovers okay girls i'll have the vacuum ready um all right <laughs> whoa your mom really is kind of strict brookie 
I know, don't remind me. Oh, this popcorn is delicious. Come on, guys, let's go watch the movie. Ah, uh, excuse me, excuse me. What, what's that sound? That's the alarm. You are not supposed to be eating in the living room. And it's the alarm to tell you to stop immediately. But we're about to watch a movie. Brookie, uh, what's going on here? Um, Mom doesn't allow us to eat in the living room. Well, how do you eat popcorn when you're watching a movie? You don't. You just eat your popcorn in the kitchen. And then you come watch the movie afterwards. But that's not how you watch a movie. Molly, don't say anything. We don't want to get Bookie in trouble. Okay, Bookie Bob, we'll uh, go ahead and uh, eat our popcorn out here. Yeah, we'll eat our popcorn out here. Sorry my mom is so strict, guys. I I'm really sorry about this. It's not your fault, Brookie. <clears throat> not here. Have some popcorn and don't worry about it. I hope she doesn't ruin your sleepover. Our sleepover, Brookie, and of course she won't. We're all together, and that's all that matters. Brookie, don't forget to vacuum up if there's any popcorn kernels on the floor. I don't think I dropped any. Oh, wait. Yeah, no. I made a total mess. <laughs> don't worry about it, Molly. I'll vacuum everything. Ah, oh, so much for relaxing at my sleepover. Molly, maybe we should have had a sleepover at our house. Don't be ridiculous, Daisy. This is very important to Brookie to have it at her house. We're going to support her, even if her mom is kind of crazy strict. Let's watch this movie, everybody. Which movie should we watch? Ooh, this one about kittens and puppies. So adorable. Should we watch... <gasps> the new Brook High movie is out. Do you guys want to watch it? Yeah, I guess so. Come on, Brookie. Turn that frown upside down. It's going to be a great movie. Ah, perfect. My tummy's all full of popcorn. We're watching the Brook High movie. This is going to be amazing. That movie is entirely too loud. You girls are going to hurt your ears. Turn it down. But it's a movie. We're supposed to listen to it loud. Besides, you have this really cool sound system in your house. I know. I had it. Pay I had paid to have it installed. Except for we never use it, Mom. Um, okay. Well, they installed it, so it's really loud. It's okay. Um, Bookie's mom will just turn it down. No problem. Okay, girls. Well, enjoy your movie quietly. See what I mean? She's going to ruin everything. Don't say that, Bookie. Everything's going to be okay. We're having a great time, right, Molly? You betcha, Brookie. Perfect time. Thanks for saying that, guys. It makes me feel a lot better. Oh, no, guys. It's 9 o'clock. We have to go to bed. What? But the last 15 minutes of Brook High is on. That's right, girls. 9 o'clock bedtime and no chit-chat after you go to sleep. Um, well, maybe we won't go to sleep till midnight. <laughs> I don't think so. You should be asleep by 9.15, after you brush your teeth, that is. Wow, um, what if you can't fall asleep? That's not an option, Molly. Mom always has us go to sleep at 9.15 sharp. And you're wasting time, girls. But we didn't even get to see the end of Brook High in this movie. I've been wanting to see it for like three months. Sorry, maybe you can watch it another time. But it's the last 15 minutes, come on! No, Molly. If you'd like to spend the night at our house ever again, I suggest you listen to my rules. Um, okay. I'll go brush my teeth and get my pajamas on. Oh, man. We <coughs> packed the same pajamas. Oh, we look adorable. Twinsies. Oh, I hate when we look like twinsies. Ha, <laughs> ha, Molly. Whoa, you guys look like twins. Yeah, don't remind me. Oh my, those pajamas won't do. What? Why? Don't we look adorable? We look like twins? Um, no. You look like you're going to be freezing all night. I keep the temperature as exactly 60 degrees. What? But it's like 20 degrees outside. We'll be cold. That's why we always wear wool pajamas to bed. It saves on the heating bill. But, but wool pajamas are going to be itchy. Ugh. I'll be up all night scratching. Well, Brookie wears them without complaint. Uh-huh, yep, I do. I have some extra pairs you girls can wear. Now it's already getting late, so I want you to get changed and go right to sleep. Uh, okay, lady. I feel like we're in prison. We're all wearing the same outfit. You all look perfectly identical. I love it. You'll stay super warm tonight. Okay, Brookie, you take the top bunk. Molly, you can take the bottom. Daisy, the sleeping bag will, bag will be nice and toasty for you. Good night, girls. Uh, good night, Brookie's mom. Ugh, Brookie. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe I shouldn't have invited you over. I'm feeling really sad that, well, I haven't had a very good sleepover. Nonsense, Brookie. 
We know it's not your fault, and we still had fun, right, Daisy? Marty, don't keep talking. Her mom seems kind of queasy, and, well, she said no talking. We have to go right to sleep. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't go right to sleep. That's just not how I am. I'm coming up there, Brookie. Oh, um, Molly, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. I feel kind of sad for you, Brookie. I mean, your mom is so strict. I know she is. I love her, but why does she gotta be so strict all the time? She needs to have some fun once in a while. Brookie, I know exactly what's gonna make you feel better. Let's turn that frown upside down. Molly, seriously, be quiet. Oh, she can't hear us. The door is closed anyway. I have a, a great joke for you. What did the Dalmatian dog say after lunch? What, Molly? What did it say? <laughs> that hit the spot. all this commotion about in here uh-oh warned you guys <gasps> what molly you're out of bed and brookie you're laughing that's it you're grounded and you're never having a sleepover ever again no but 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 brookie's mom d -d don't do this it wasn't brookie's fault please brookie's mom d -d don't ground her it was my fault well maybe i should call your mom and get you grounded as well what no okay no that's taking a little too far Mom, it's okay. I'll just be grounded and and never have a sleepover again. What? No, Brookie! Look, Brookie is my best friend, and I know I'm just a kid, and you don't have to listen to me, but I think you're being really mean. I mean, you're being too strict. I mean, it's a sleepover. Kids are supposed to have fun at a sleepover. We're supposed to eat popcorn on the couch and 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 leave a mess that we can clean up in the morning and and do crafts and finish the movie and then we're supposed to stay up till one o'clock in the morning giggling and talking and it doesn't matter if you don't get any sleep because we are having fun and the world revolves around us okay we only get to be kids once and you're taking this special time from your daughter do you want to do that lady i mean look at your daughter's face she's super unhappy can't you just let her have this one night to be happy? Oh my gosh. I didn't realize that being a strict mom was making her so unhappy. Yeah, and it's making me unhappy too because I wanted to finish the rest of that movie and I didn't get to. Molly, you're getting off the subject. Anyway, I care about my friend and I want her to be happy. She's not saying she won't clean up in the morning. She's not saying she won't get good grades. She's not saying any of that. She's a really good kid. Actually, she kind of makes me look bad because I don't do my homework nearly as much as she does. But but anyway, like, can you just give her a break? Oh my God. Brookie, come down here, please. Oh, great. My pep talk didn't work. Brookie's still gonna get grounded. It's all my fault. Yes, mom. I'm sorry. I I'll do anything you want. Just, just don't be mad at me. Oh, Brookie. I think I've been making some mistakes as your mom. What? A grown-up apologizing? I must be hearing things. Ricky, I thought by being strict I could keep you safe and successful in life. But the truth is, is everyone needs to have fun sometimes. And it hasn't been fair of me to just, well, control your life like crazy. Plus, it's exhausting. I think you should start being in control of your own life a little. Really, Mom? Are you, are you saying that I'm not grounded? No, you're not grounded. And you girls can come out and watch the rest of your movie. Whoa. Pinch me, I must be dreaming. A grown-up actually listened to what I had to say. I thought it was pretty smart. I can tell that you and Molly are BFFs. And of course, Daisy too. <laughs> oh, she so cannot hang. Seriously, she's already sleeping over there. Well, you two can go finish the movie and you can even eat popcorn on the floor, not on the couch. Well, I guess you win some and you lose some. And and you should vacuum up the crumbs in the morning and... Mom, you're getting strict again. Okay, sorry. Trying to chill. <laughs> Maybe I should go take a bubble bath and just try to relax. Yeah, I find eating a chocolate bar helps with that too, Brookie's mom. <laughs> Molly, do you actually know what my mom's name is? No, I just call her Brookie's mom. That's her name to me. <laughs> Okay, Molly, well, let's go watch the rest of our movie. Daisy, are you going to come? <coughs> Guess not. It's just you and me, Brookie. You and me. Wait, I went into the wrong room. How do I get out of here? I'm stuck. 
Molly, what took you so long? Your house is really big. I kind of got lost. <laughs> now, let's eat some more popcorn and watch the end of Brook High. Sounds good, Molly. Hey, thanks for standing up for me. No problem, Brookie. Molly, remember you have to sit on the floor if you want to eat some popcorn. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. <laughs> morning already? Today's the day, today's the day, today's the day! Honey, why are you awake so early? Because I'm so excited! They are going to give someone a promotion at work! And I've been doing so good! I just know it's me! I'm gonna get a better job! And I'm gonna make so much more money! Well, what happens if you don't get the job? Oh, thanks for your vote of confidence! I'm just saying, honey, don't get your hopes too high up. Sometimes you don't always get what you want. Yeah, but I've been working so hard. I'm pretty sure this is going to happen. And when it does, we're going on a family vacation this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to go wake up the girls because I need to make sure I'm at work on time today. I better wake up Molly because she always has trouble getting out of bed and I literally cannot be late for work today. Molly. <sighs> Mom, Molly, did she just get up and run around her bed and then go right back to sleep? <sighs> Molly, I'm telling you, can you hear me right now? Yes, I can hear you. You need to get up or I'm going to be late and I cannot be late. Okay, Mom, I can hear you. I will absolutely get out of bed. Maybe. Right, time to wake up Daisy. I bought a wake, Mom. I'm doing my aerobics and I'm just getting some cardio this morning. Okay, great, Daisy. Well, I have a really important day at work and I can't wait because I think I'm going to get a promotion. Good job, Mom. Congratulations. Have a good day, honey. I'll see you after work. Good luck with your job promotion. Thank you. What should I wear? I mean, today's such an important day. I have to look amazing. These are my most favorite scrubs. They're kind of like good luck for me. <laughs> and, well, I think today is going to be a fantastic day. Molly, the bus is here. See you after school, girls. Have a great day. Well, lo and behold, my sister is late for school again. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, everybody, good morning. Just making a snap to show you my face and say, I'm still here and I'm ready to have a great day. <laughs> Gotta go. Don't want to miss the school bus. that sound? Is that Molly snoring? Well, it's not Daisy. She ran out the front door. Molly! Huh? What? what? What's, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's, what's going on? Molly, you were supposed to be up 30 minutes ago on the school bus with your sister. What are you still in bed for? Uh, I accidentally fell back asleep. Molly! Ah! I have my job promotion today. Well, correction. I might not actually get the promotion, but... Ah! Get in the car! But I didn't brush my teeth yet! Brush them at school! I didn't eat breakfast! Yeah, I don't know. I eat lunch when you get to school. But lunch isn't breakfast and I'll be hungry. Molly, I cannot be late for work today. Hurry, Molly, get in. Oh, no! I forgot my homework! Are you serious? Yeah, and if I don't go get it, I'm going to get detention. You don't want that, do you? Oh, Molly, hurry! Oh, no, oh, no. I don't want to be late for my promotion. Oh, this kid always makes me late for work. Ah! Now, where did I put my homework? The last time I had it, I was getting a snack out of the refrigerator. <laughs> uh, did I leave it in there? No, but ooh, leftover pizza. Mm, delicious. OMG, what is taking her so long? Molly! What? Ah! Uh, Molly! Oh my god, did you find your homework? Um, uh, Molly, it's up in your room. Take the pizza to go! Sorry, Mom! I bet you are. You're always sorry when you make me late for work, but today is kind of important! Come on, Molly! Coming! Oh no, I forgot my teddy bear! What? Your teddy bear? What do you need a teddy bear for? Um, it was bring your teddy bear to school day. Mom, oh, mom, you're being kind of crazy with your driving right now. You'll have to take your teddy bear to school some other time. 
I cannot be late for this job promotion. Mom, stop saying. Whoopsie. <laughs> I totally paused. Mom, do you even know the way to my school? Yes, I know the way to your school. Hey, there's Daisy. Hey, get out. Mom, he just ran into the building. Um, yeah, my driving isn't that good this morning because I'm in a hurry. Bruh. Love you. Have a great day. Oh, no, my car Bye. is stuck. Ah, okay, there we go. Molly, what have you been doing? What were you doing? You just got here. No, Molly, I didn't. I actually took the trash out for the teacher. Ugh, you're such a goody two-shoes. Whoa, I drove right past the hospital. Can you guys tell that I'm a little bit nervous? Good morning, Susie. Oh, good morning, Laura. You're late again. Oh, I know, but I, my daughter, she's just... You better go in and see him. He's waiting for you in his office. Oh my gosh, here we go. I bet he's gonna give me the promotion. Ah, I'm so excited. Good morning, Laura. Oh, good morning, Mr. Glenn. I'm so glad you called me into your office. I'm really excited this morning. And very late. Oh, sorry about that. My daughter, Molly, she's, uh, well, a little bit of trouble, but she's a good kid. She, she, she is a good kid. Uh-huh. Yes, um, but here at this job, we have expectations. Yes, and I always meet the expectations with the patients. Uh-huh, so I have something that I need to talk to you about. Uh, yes, I, I agree, and I'm really excited. You are? Yeah, this is going to be an amazing opportunity. Um, yeah, starting over can be an opportunity. Yep, a new position. Uh-huh. Well, we're gonna miss you here at the hospital. Huh? Miss me at the hospital? Wait, does this promotion mean I'm gonna be working at a different location? No, what promotion? I'm not giving you a promotion. Wait, weren't we just talking about the promotion? I was going to be making an extra $50 an hour. No, you're not getting a promotion. You're getting fired. Wait, what? F -f 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 fired I've been working at this job for years, sir. Why am I getting fired? I don't understand. You've been late every single day for almost a month. That's because my daughter Molly, she never gets to the bus on time. I always have to drive her to school. Well, whatever the reason, we need somebody who's dependable here for this job position. So we are, well... Firing you. Firing me? F -f 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 firing me? Did they take the picture? Did they post it on the news? Wow, must have been mind blowing. Honey, are are you okay? <laughs> You're so excited, aren't you? <laughs> Honey, what's going on? You're freaking me out right now. I, I, I got fired. Wait. What? You got fired? For what? You've been at that job forever! Plus, we need that money to help pay our bills. I... I was late again. Wait, why? Because Molly didn't get out of bed like I asked her to when I had to drive her to school. That's it. She's grounded for the rest of her life. I... I don't know what I'll do. I've always worked at the hospital. I love working at the hospital. And now I'm fired! <laughs> okay, honey. It's okay, don't don't cry. You're a very smart woman. You could get a job anywhere, and there's lots of businesses here. Tomorrow morning, you can start off looking for a new job. I'm sure you'll find something amazing. I... I hope so. <sighs> Good morning, everybody. I'm just making this Snapchat because... I had a terrible day yesterday. I got fired from my job, but as you can see, I'm still smiling right now because... Today is a new day. It's actually so early in the day that um, the sun hasn't even come up yet, but I'm determined to find a new career today. So guys, wish me luck. Well, here goes nothing. I think I saw that the bank was hiring. Yeah, totally on my list. All right, let's go over to the bank and see if I can get a job there. That'd be a really good job to have. Good morning, welcome to Keep Safe Bank. How can I help you today? Oh, hi. Uh, I saw that you were interviewing for new new um, bank tellers. Oh, yes. Come right into my little office here. <laughs> Nothing fancy at the bank. 
except for all the money that's pretty fancy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty good with money actually. I have so much in my savings account because uh, I had a steady job for 10 years. I mean, steady as can be. Oh, that's good to hear. You sound reliable. Um, do you have any banking um, experience? Uh, yes, I go in every Friday to cash my check. Oh, I meant like, have you worked in banking? Did you go to college for it? Uh, no. Well, what did you do for 10 years then? I worked at the hospital. Oh, sorry. Hospitals and banks are a lot different. Can't work here. Oh, okay. Thank you for your time. Bye. Hopefully you'll get another check though so you can come back on Friday. Uh, no, I can't. I got fired. Whoa, harsh. Well, good luck with the job search. Thank you. Oh, man. Okay, that's okay. It's just one job that I didn't get. I'm sure I can find something else. According to my list, Pop Palace is hiring. They have rare exotic pets. Do they call hamsters rare and exotic? I could totally do this job. Love hamsters and dogs and cats. Welcome. Please wait for the staff. Okay, well, are you staff? Yes, but we have to say that because sometimes our animals get a little crazy and they think they can talk to us. <laughs> oh, very funny. Hey, I'm looking for a job. This seems like a great place to me. Whoa. <laughs> What's that over there? Lady, if you've never seen a monkey before, you probably shouldn't be working here. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to say what's that. I knew it was a monkey, but you guys have a pet monkey? Yeah, he's so crazy. Sometimes he likes to throw poo-poo at yeah. the customers. <laughs> You're so funny. No, for real. Watch out! What? Ew, it landed on my head! Sorry about that. I told you the monkey was kind of crazy. OMG! Ew, why is it blue? This monkey loves blueberries. <laughs> you get it? What? Um, yeah, I don't want to work here. But you'd be great at the job! He loves you! No, thank you! Oh, this job search is not going so well. Park is hiring and, well, I need to work somewhere. Now, where is the manager? Yo, what's up? You looking for a job? Ugh, I'm a little frazzled right now, but hey, why you got to poop on your head? Oh, no, I forgot to wipe that off. Excuse me. I'll just use my phone like a mirror. That way I can see it. And oh my God, I'm on Snap. And I just sent it to everybody. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Oopsie, having the worst day ever. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was kind of funny. <laughs> Whoa, what happened to you? I was just doing a little maintenance on one of the pieces of uh, amusement park ride equipment and um, things didn't go quite as I planned. So, um, do you have any uh, experience? Uh, no, I'm not really into amusement parks, but I'm super smart and um, I'm sure I can do this. Okay, well, we have one rule before you get hired here. Okay, I'm sure I could meet it. What is it? You actually have to ride the rides to make sure that you're excited about the job. What? What? Why? Because we're all about bringing fun to everyone here. And if you're not having fun, our customers won't be having fun. <gasps> Go ahead, get on the roller coaster. Um, I'm not really a big roller coaster person. I hope you didn't just say that, because you're not going to get hired. Okay, fine. I'll get on the roller coaster. Fine. Enjoy your ride. It's probably going to be super fun and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it sure will be if you really like <laughs> roller coasters. Yep. Oh, boy. Okay, just try not to lose your lunch, Laura. Keep from throwing up. Nope, I'm definitely gonna. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, you can't work here. Well, at least get me off of here. Sorry, it's a 10 minute ride. Ah! Just kidding, get off the ride. Also, you're not a good candidate. Oh, I think I might have left some throw up in your car. That's all right, I'll take care of it. Sorry. God, I'm out of job options. We're gonna be homeless. Ah! Well, I guess there's only one choice left. Hey, what can I get for you? <laughs> McDonald's, by the way. Oh, hi. Um, can I speak to your manager, please? Why? What happened? Did you get like, um, like a rat in your French fries or something? <laughs> what? No. I just am looking for a job. I need the manager. I want to speak to them about getting a job. Well, you're speaking to the manager. What? You're like 16 years 
old. You still have a bunch of pimples. How can you be the manager? Well, I'll get used to it, lady, because you'd be working for me if you want a job at McDonald's. Ow! Ugh. Seriously? I'm working for a teenager? Ugh! So, do you want the job or not? We're a bit short-handed, and I could use somebody right now. drive through is getting crazy. Well, I guess so. I need a job. And it's better than being homeless. Well, come on back here. I'll get you a uniform. Don't forget to say welcome to McDonald's. Okay. <laughs> is this uniform what they wear at McDonald's? Oh, we just got that updated uh, about a week ago. <laughs> you look awesome. And a little bit old in that uh, Happy Meal <laughs> hat. I mean, what are you, like 50? What? No, I'm not 50. Well, like I'm just saying, you're not like 15 or 16. No, I'm not. I should be the manager of this place. Okay, here's the drive through window. Make sure you're polite. You say hello. You didn't do that. Well, yeah, okay, but I'm the manager. I get to do what I want. Uh, Take a look around the place, though. Make sure you know what everything, where everything is. I see that. Okay, fine. Oh, I can't believe I'm working at McDonald's drive through How embarrassing that I'm a grown-up and having to wear this silly hat. Dad, I really want to have a Happy Meal. Okay, Molly, okay. And Dad, also, what's going on with your stash? I mean, that's new. Just trying something different. It looks like you have a caterpillar on your upper lip. <laughs> Very funny, Molly. Hi. Welcome to McDonald's. What can I get for you? Mom? What are you doing? And what are you wearing? <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? Actually, I would be really careful what you say to your mom because you're kind of the reason why she's working here. And what? Why are you working at McDonald's? I couldn't get any other job. And I didn't want us to be homeless. Oh, honey. I'm sure something else will come along, but for now, you do look pretty cute in that Happy Meal hat. Oh. Oh, I feel so dumb! Okay, well, um, anyway, enough talking. Come on, do your job. What? Yeah, uh, Molly wants a Happy Meal, and I would like a Big Mac meal, please. Okay, fine. We love you, honey. Have a good shift. Yeah, thank you. Hey everyone, it's me, Laura. I can't believe I'm actually making this Snapchat right now. So I'm su super embarrassed by this, but I'm wearing a Happy Meal on my head. It even has two chicken nuggets on the sides and fries <coughs> on the back. I feel ridiculous. Please just say something nice to me so that I feel better because I'm having a terrible day. Okay, bye. Oh, yay. Another customer. Okay, just try to be friendly, Laura, even though you hate your life right now. Hello? Are you going to take my order? Um, yes, but could you get a little closer to the window? It's it's really far away. I'm not going to be able to hand you your food like that, please. Oh, how rude. I can't believe you're talking to me like that. Uh, well, I, I can't reach you from all the way over there, and I want to be able to hand you your food. Like, you know, I don't want to drop your chicken nuggets on the ground. Fine, I'll back up. It is <gasps> McDonald's cheese. Um, okay. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Um, what can I get for you today? How about a better attitude? I mean, every time I come through here, there's somebody that's grumpy. Oh, sorry about that. Um, what can I get for you? I'll have a 20 piece chicken McNuggets with French fries and um, a Coke. Okay, um, sure. Um, that would be $35. What? $35? When did the prices at McDonald's go so high? Um, about four years ago or so. Oh, I can't believe this. McDonald's isn't even, like, what I really wanted. Well, you could always go to Burger King across the street. Just give me my order. Okay, fine. Bacon, is the order up yet? No. I was busy making a Snapchat. Oh, yeah, but this lady, she really wants her food, and I really want her gone. She's really miserable. Hey, listen, Happy Meal Head, I'll get it done when I get it done. Okay. I'm sorry, ma'am, but um, your order's taking a little longer than normal. Could you please pull up? What? You want me to pull up? Ugh, this is so annoying. Sorry, uh, it's just we're making your food really fresh. Yeah, that's it. Bacon, make that food! Was this what you ordered? Oh, we don't even serve popcorn here! What are you doing? 
Oh, you think that you're the manager or something? No, but I should be. This is ridiculous! Okay, I can't wait till this lady goes away. She seems really grumpy. Okay, where did she park? Oh, wait, there she is. She's still at the order window. What's she doing? Hey, I didn't feel like pulling forward. Oh, okay, well, here's all your meal, and um, you have a wonderful day. Thank you. This food better be fresh. It is. Bye! Ugh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I have to work here. This is like the worst day of my life. Bacon! Get rid of Get with it! You were supposed to make the food! Oh, uh, we have a customer and you're yelling at the manager. Yeah, hi, can I help you? Yeah, this girl is yelling at you. She didn't even give me any napkins. That's <gasps> true. I gave you three napkins. Well, I wanted five. Okay, but you're only one person. How many napkins do you need? Are you the biggest slob in the world? Uh oh Whoa. Um, sorry, lady, but obviously you don't understand how to be a good McDonald's, you know, employee and teammate. You're fired. Wait, what? I got fired from McDonald's? Wait, I just get to take a Happy Meal home. I'm hungry. You said I got a free meal on my lunch break. No. What? I want my Happy Meal! Worst day ever. Ew, what's that horrible smell? I don't know, I think it smells good. Oh, it's just your mom. Yeah, it's just your mom smelling like greasy french fries. Mmm, greasy french fries. Mom, I think you should work there every single day for the rest of your life. Well, that's impossible since I got fired. What? <laughs>
Oh, my hair feels kind of crazy. That's right, though. I've got plenty of time to get ready before my job promotion. It's gonna be amazing. With the extra money, I'm gonna buy my family a brand new in-ground swimming pool this summer. How awesome! Just gonna do a little working out, get myself all fired up for my amazing day. The bathroom door's locked. No one ever gets up this early. Who's in the bathroom? Oh, honey, it's me. The shower broke again. Uh, are you gonna be long? Are you just going to the bathroom? Because I, I, I have to get ready. Um, yeah, I won't be that much longer. I'm taking a bath. I'm just, I'm, you know, been like stressed, so. Well, uh, uh, I applaud your self-care, honey, but I have a big day today, big promotion, and my hair looks a little crazy, okay? So, um, yeah, like 10 minutes? Sure, honey, sure, I'll be right out. One eternity later. Well, I guess Dan needs to get ready for his job today. I should probably get out of the bathroom. It's all yours, honey! Great! I can finally get ready now. Shouldn't have ate that bean burrito! Shouldn't have ate that bean burrito! Molly, what are you doing? I have to come in there! No, you definitely do not want to come in here. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Molly, come on! I'm gonna be late for my job promotion! This is a big deal! Do you want the swimming pool or not? Dad, you look fine. Just go on your interview like that or whatever it is you're doing today. Your promotion, interview, I don't know what grown-ups do. Molly, I'm wearing plaid pajamas and have you seen my hair? Yeah, it looks really cool. Stylish even, Dad. <laughs> I've seen rock stars who actually do their hair like that. I'm a police officer, not a rock star. Ooh, pancakes sound delicious. Honey, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, Molly just went into the bathroom and she's stinking it up again. Yeah. I told her to stop eating bean burritos, but she doesn't listen. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. You seem really stressed. This is supposed to be a special day for you. Yeah, look at the time. You know what she actually told me? I should wear my plaid pajamas to my job promotion. Well, you could always go use the kids' bathroom. What? The kids' bathroom? Oh, no way. Oh, quit being so dramatic, Dan. Besides, desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh, the horror of that bathroom. There's toothpaste on the walls. It's just wrong. You'll survive. Besides, it's either that or going into our bathroom after Molly's been in there. Okay, I guess I have no choice. I'm going for it. This left pigtail doesn't seem exactly even with a right pigtail. Maybe if I brush it another 200 times, it will make it perfect. I mean, I have to look like a fashionista at the science fair. I can't believe I'm about to go into the kids' bathroom. Wait, Daisy's in there? Daisy, are you almost done? Um, no, not really. My pigtails aren't even. Today's a very important day for me. I have to look my best. But today I'm getting a promotion and then I'm gonna use the extra money to buy a pool. I don't want a pool. Get out of the bathroom! Oh wow, somebody's grumpy. You'd think you'd be in a better mood since you're getting a promotion at your job. I just need to brush my hair. It takes me five seconds to take a shower. Unlike all the girls in the house who take 45 minute showers, get out of the bathroom! Whoa! Okay, I just need another five minutes. I don't have five minutes. I have to leave in five minutes. I don't know what to tell you, Dad. Sorry. <sighs> Honey, where are you going? I have to leave now. I'm going to be late for my own job promotion. Oh, uh, are you going like that? I have no choice. Well, here. At least take this cup of coffee. Thanks, honey. Uh. Whew! That room's closed for the next year. <laughs> hey, I'm done in the bathroom! Okay, my pigtails are finally perfect. You could use the bathroom now, Dad. Oh, too late. I guess I'm just going to work like this. Well, have fun at your promotion. Bye! I don't know why you were so grumpy. You'd think you'd be happier about a promotion. Oh, birds freezing out here and I'm wearing my pajamas. Well, honey, you did have to take the motorcycle today. Since I needed to take baby Kira to her doctor's appointment, I needed the car. Oopsie. 
Well, hopefully he has a good day anyway. Yeah, we're getting an indoor pool. No, Molly, in ground pool. I think he said indoor. In ground. Okay, girls. Why don't you get ready for school and I will take you. Really? We don't have to ride the bus? Yep, I made some pancakes. Go eat them and then we'll head out. Wow, this was a great morning routine. I thought so too. Very relaxing. Totally. 